Good morning, everybody. It's uh, you know we're on break. I'm just really stretching out so that we can finish this bill out of uh, Malasakit sa mga tiga Baguio at saka sa Benguet and the Cordilleras. Because I think this can be a game changer, and I really like this bill, provided everybody gets together. I'm not that much of a politician. I do what is right. So I hope you can take a look at the communal interest of the people of Baguio, the people of the Cordilleras, whom I'm very, very fond of. Uh, so uh, let me just uh, call this meeting to order. Meeting is now in order. Uh, one sec. Read our guest. Can you still read? Yes, sir. Okay, good. Uh, good, good morning, everyone. Uh, from left to right, I'm calling uh, Mr. Joseph Edison Claridades, BPO Analyst, Baguio, uh, Michael Pabalinas. BPO, meaning Business Processing Authority? Bad people of? Why BPO? Bad people of Baguio? What's BPO? It's a Business Process Analyst. Well, you know, it's not good. Yes, sir. Business Processing Outsourcing. Is that it? Analyst. Walang O. You mean you list down all the annuses there? No, just kidding. Go ahead. Arofina Sigkan, Provincial Director, the ILG CAR. We forgot Michael Pabilinas. Michael Pabalinas. Uh, I called him up already. Oh, I'm, I'm a, you know, the boss is never wrong. Okay, sir. All right, okay. Uh, <laughs> Michael Pabalinas of uh, GOG. GCG. GCG, all right. Um, Mr. Tiborcio Canlas, Regional Director, DPW. I'm really sorry, man. Did you call Rufina Fedkan? Did she call you? Tina? I didn't hear it. Huh? You know what they say about people who are hard of hearing. Angelita Mabitazan, yes, engineer, DPWH, go ahead. Okay, Tibor Shukanlat, Regional Director, DPWH okay. Car, together with Ms. Angelita Mabitazan, Chief Planning Officer, Reni F. Sarati, District Engineer. Wait, 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 where are you now? Reni? Uh, nasa oh, likod nasa po sila eh. kasi mga ipodan ng upuan. Mga ano? Tayo-tayo lang dito, bakit niyo magpukas sila. Renee, you get, sit down okay. here. You may sit down. You get all the way came from uh, Benguet, and you don't have a seat. It's just like living on earth, and you don't get to heaven. And sit down, sit down. Renee. Oh, go ahead. And Ireneo is Galiato. Galiato. Where is Ireneo? Ireneo Galiato? Yes, sir. Where is he? He's not here. Hmm. Go ahead. Uh, Miss Saray Digamo, OIC, Regional Director, mm -hmm. Environmental Management Bureau, DENR, yeah. CAR, mm -hmm. Engineer Ralph Pablo, Regional Executive Director, DENR, CAR, with Miss Faye Apil, OIC, Regional Director, Mines and DOC Sciences oh. Bureau. You're not on automatic cruise control, so please make sure that they're here. Can you sit down there, please? What is your name again? Can you add her name here? Huh? Go ahead. What's your name? Faye Apil. They come all the way from Benguet, and you don't call them. They're not on the table. Go ahead. What's your name? Miss Faye Apil. Mind Apil. A-P-I-L. Oh, put, sir. With Mr. Reynaldo Digamo, OIC Regional Director, Environmental ah, okay. Management Bureau. Okay. Next, sir. Miss. Darcin, Darcin, Apo. Mari Vinotan, Vinostan, Chief Vinos. Operating Officer, Tourism Promotion Board. Ayusek Bonifacio Buncato, Jr. Arturo. Arturo. Ar You're changing his name. Arturo Buncato. Morning, Art. These are my people uh, from Tourism. That's why I know them. Go ahead. Representative Mark Go. Bongo? Oh, no. Mark Go. Oh, oh, oh. oh, Mark Go. Okay. Uh, Honorable Edna Tabanda, former mayor of La Trinidad. Tumalong ka naman. 
wala sila sa iyo oh. na nakakita. Sige, wala si Molly, wala si Carino, sa Council, wala Governor. Po. Wala po. Nako, we have to consult these people. Have we consulted them? Are they willing? All right, okay. I'll take your word for it. Let the record state that all these gentlemen, Mori Dumoga and, and uh, Governor Pakalso, he was the president. He is the governor, but he's not willing. You see? No, uh, in my, well, we did not hear him in the formal uh, discussion, uh, Mr. Senator, but uh, we have talked uh, with him and he agreed, including the uh, congressman of the law of Benguet. Who is that? Ronnie Kusalan. He's one of the co-authors. Uh, ah, okay, co-authors. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, Honorable Edna Tabanda, former mayor of La Trinidad and vi former vice governor of Benguet and now member of Development Council of La Trinidad. I picked strawberries in La Trinidad. Do you remember, Edna? Huh? You forgot already? Huh? Oh, it's okay. Okay, thank you. Uh, Honorable Armando Lauro. Wala po siya, sir. Wala sila. Victoria Panagdan. Itogon. Mayor Ignacio Rivera is present, sir. We have two guys here. Yes, sir. Ignacio Rivera. Mayor Lauro is not here. Du L Dublai. He is not here. Mayor of Sablan, Arthur Baldo. He is not here, Your Honor. And uh, architect Joseph Alabanza. He is there, Your Honor. I know. Former regional director. Are you the of the basketball players of Antanero? The lawyer? You are? They're Chinese. You're not Chinese. Oh, no, 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 it's Chinese, you're not. See you. Okay. I just want to make it, uh, make sure that we do our bona fides, that we have, if, I just want to be sure if I, if, uh, Congressman Go can give me uh, an indication about the feelings and the thoughts of the different mayors because this is uh, going to be a game changer uh, for the Cordilleras, and I'd like to make sure that everybody is in on it, all right? Uh, not that I, we, we don't have to make law. They can disagree. Anyway, this is going to have to go through a plebiscite, all right? No need? Even if you're creating a new entity? Uh, it's not provided for in our, in our bill. That was approved in the House. But when you move uh, an entity, where's local government? Uh, Rufina? Diba, pag nag-move ka ng entity and you create a new entity and you take out certain towns out of them, you would have to call a plebiscite for the rest of the province? D please do not nod your head. We are not lovers. Okay. <laughs> Say yes or no. Yes, sir. That's correct. Now, in this particular case, the bill of Congressman Go simply wants to create a metro, metro bagyo, right? Now, how, how does it affect local government? What is the opinion of local government on that matter? Sir, I think the opinion of the local government unit is important. Can you speak a little louder? So, um, I think the opinion of the local government unit concern is important. I know that they're supporting, but uh, what is the legal animal you're creating? Well, I can see Edna vigorously nodding her head. You have some opinion on that, Edna? Mayor of uh, the, uh, Mayor Tabanda? Tabanada or Tabanda? Tabanda. 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 You don't have to stand up, madam. <laughs> Just, there's a microphone. Sir, I'm here to... Oh. Speak closer to the microphone, please. Class of morning to the one and all. And on... Um, Greetings from the municipality of La Trinidad. Ma'am, I can't understand you. I'm speaking in Ilocano, for all I care. I don't know. I'm representing our mayor, Mayor Salda. He requested me to represent him in today's hearing because yes, he has e an equally important matter to attend to. So I'm here. I'm only 
representing the mayor and what he instructed me to present to the body regarding the 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 beast. We we called attention of the mayor because we were not consulted as far as flat that is concerned. It was only the official. So I asked them, did did you consult with the Miss Wagner Council, the people? I hate, to, I hate to interject. Was the mayor consulted? He was, but then they did not consult with the people of La Trinidad, uh, okay. and, they so, yeah. and they accepted so that. Are you suggesting we so go we to suggested, Baguio? We, we suggested to, to the mayor if he will conduct consultation with the people of La Trinidad, the stakeholders of La Trinidad, because then we the process, that. yes, so he that can we can that. also input or look into some of the provisions and be clarified, because there are some provisions of the bills that we have to be clarified with because we are creating a body, an administrative body. You know. So how would it affect the, lo the local, uh, uh, local government units concerned? You know? Because we how are governed the by the local government. Madam, excuse me. I think what is important is how will it affect the people? Because local government officials are very, very skittish about making reducing their authority. Is that what you're concerned about? There are some, yes, sir, there are some also uh, concerns Ma regarding... Ma yes, rega no? yes, yes, sir. All right. Now and go even ahead. the taxing power, because the authority will have taxing power, how would it affect our taxing power also? So there could be some conflicts, there could be duplications, because we are also having our, we have our own development plans, we have our own vision, what is because we have different situations in the different localities, you know. So we have we we were man, we are mandated by the local government code to have our own development plans. Actually, La Trinidad has a very limited area, and we also have problems on garbage. But we are coping with it, and we are coming up with solutions. Now, and we coordinate with the uh, line agencies, and we also collaborate with the city of Baguio because in the environment aspect, solid waste management. We are willing to, to provide a land area for the sanitary landfill for all of this, but it was rejected by the JICA people when they came. You see, yes. so there are still matters to Can be. Can you let the chairman speak for a while? Yes, sir. <laughs> I am not concerned with the specifics of the bill at the moment. What I'm concerned for is, is the vision. If you have a common vision, everything else must follow. Not the personal interest of any local executive or any interest group, but the interest of the community as a whole. Now, would you agree with me, all of you, that the Cordilleras are very, very important to the development of our country? They are indigenous, they are a very rich uh, heritage, and would you agree with me that Baguio is part of that national interest? Uh, mainly because, will you agree with me that Baguio used to be the number one tourism destination in the country until another B, Boracay, took over? And even Boracay has become in danger going the likes of Baguio, so much so that the president had to close it down for a while. You agree with me on that one? But more important than beaches and uh, climate is the fact that there is a culture in Baguio that is quite unique for the Cordillera, the Cancanay, uh, the uh, Ibaloy, and uh, huh? Ifugao, the Kalingas, and that's uh, important, and uh, that's why it's a Cordillera administrative region, right? So having said that, the creation of a new political animal or a political entity is what we are looking at. Now, quite frankly, I am vague on the idea of having a metro Baguio like Manila, which has become ungovernable. Would you agree with me on that one? Traffic is horrendous, like Baguio. Squatting is all over the place, like Baguio. There is uh, no vision, the, what we used to call, to call the Pearl of the Orient. Would you agree with me? M Marie Venus Tan, the goddess of beauty, right? Uh, can you please speak to the microphone? 
I have to record all your... That's correct, uh, Your Honor. So having said that, if Metro Manila can do it, cannot do it, would you agree with me that we all have to create a new entity, if you will, that will finally look at what is in the best interest? So, ano pinakamaganda? Hindi lang para sa tao ng Baguio or Cordilleras, ngunit para sa bansa, so we can be proud again. Now, correct me if I am wrong. Wasn't Baguio a wee post that was created initially by the Spaniards uh, as a rest area, or was it the Americans, the Americans who did that? Mr. Chair. The, the Americans. Americans who did that. I was just trying to find out whether you're awake. All right. I'm glad you're all awake. So it was really assigned for 17,000 people? 25,000 people. Uh, see, you're awake. Uh, I'm glad. Uh, 25,000 people. It was a rest area, an R&R. &R. Okay. And that is why they created Cannon Road to get there, right? Is that correct? And if I remember correctly, when I was Secretary of Tourism, uh, we went there for, I think it was the 100th anniversary or the 75th anniversary, I don't remember anymore, uh, when Cannon Road was inaugurated uh, many years ago. And we had the first, you know, the Filipinos were not the first overseas workers. It was the Japanese. And they created Cannon Road. Then later on, they went to Davao, all right? And therefore, when we start talking about what is in the interest of our country, would you agree with me that Baguio has become, has lost its way along the way? What was originally, and that's why the Supreme Court has offices there, summer, summer court. You have Court of Appeals there. You have uh, all the national agencies of the government are there. Why? Because uh, the former presidents of the Philippines created mansion house there, the president's home. Isn't that correct, ma'am? And by, do by doing that, all the other areas in Baguio, La Trinidad, uh, can you show me the, the tuba? Uh, hello, is somebody please operating the op There you go, Tublay, La Trinidad, Baguio, Sablan, Itogon, nagkaroon ng importance, right? Right? And uh, that was just for mining, but there should have been a long time ago a ripple effect, maybe a tidal wave effect on development of Baguio, not just Baguio, but tourism in Itogon, in Tuba, in Sablan, and everything else. Would you agree with me on that? So we're looking at what might have been, and what might have been never happened. Is that correct, Your Honors? All right, I can see everybody saying yes. Are you saying yes, Edna? Answer the question. Are you saying yes to what I just said? Yes, we are for any new construction. All right, all right. So, ma'am, the way Mark oh. assigned it, I do not quite agree. And I hate disagreeing with my uh, respected colleagues in the lower house, or what we call the big house. You know, not the prison, the big house. <laughs> I agree with you, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Even with your reads uh, bill. My thinking is that, pardon me for being very assertive on what I think, because I, I think I even went to Baguio, was affected by the earthquake, the great uh, Baguio earthquake. Uh, I always fought for Baguio. There you go, I was supposed to go to, take a look at that picture. I was supposed to go to, go to Baguio, but uh, Somebody saw me with an American helicopter and asked Celos. Pero ba ba kami sa Subic? Sabi, ba ba kami sa Subic? I was on my way to Baguio. I was with the local chapter uh, chairman of the Red Cross, uh, uh, administrator that I was going to bring there with medicine, etc. And we were told we cannot go because medyo may naingit. Bakit naka-helicopter si Gordon? American helicopter sa bantayan tayo na uli. Ibang, ibang panahon pa noong araw eh medyo ang leaves nung araw, kulay dilaw. Ano, may autumn nung araw, dilaw, no? dilaw. So, pinababa ako. So, I could not go to Baguio, but I sent all my people there, and we brought many of our constituents from the lowlands. I said, color-coded jeepneys there, blue, and we took out everybody. We were being stopped. No, our people are very concerned. We brought them down the lowlands. My mother bought the Red Cross in, uh, in La Union and we were feeding everybody as they go out and we did not leave any garbage. I remember we had our plastic bags at the time. 
So, ang dami na natin po na nasa Baguio. If you like, uh, na nagkaroon kayo ng meningo coxemia. Ando kami mag-asawa because I didn't like the fact na masisira in tourism. I even ate cherry uh, strawberries uh, in the market. I went in the market. Everybody was afraid. In fact, your mayor, uh, with all due respect, said, huwag muna kayo pumunta sa Baguio. Ay, naku, sa kapatay na tourism dito. There should be an informed public opinion on that matter. Same matter, we have to have an informed public opinion with respect to this bill. I'm sure everybody, if you ask them, we want change, right? I don't think there's anybody in Baguio or in that area who say, I don't want change. Ako, sabihin ko na sa inyo, baka ang may ayaw yung mga mayor dahil baka mabawasan kami. But I can see a mayor over there, Ignacio Rivera, who seems to have the whole interest of the whole region at heart. And I'm told by Mark that a lot of people are looking at the whole interest at heart. And I'm, that's why I like this bill. So if you do a Metro Manila commission type there, it ain't going to work. It isn't going to work. May I suggest, therefore, with the consultation of all you people here, uh, and I'm trying to rush this bill. Well, we can go up to Baguio sometime in January and have a public uh, hearing there, all right? Uh, so that everybody will be there. And uh, so that when we go back, uh, Mark, on January 14th, ready to tie uh, to present to the Congress for second reading, and then we may add pwede natin ihabol ito uh, for third reading. Now, ako, this is my vision. I'm not going to impose it because you are the best who can make that decision, the people of those areas. Now, kung magkakaisang puso tayo dyan, sabi ko anong araw sa Subic, shared vision, shared values, shared sacrifices, shared triumphs. Everybody has got to sacrifice something. So, if we create Benguet, and I'm sorry the governor's a tear, one suggestion is, uh, Baguio will still be part of Benguet, but we create a new entity called Metro Baguio within Benguet. The mayors will be part of that, but there will be professional managers accompanying the managers. You know, it's a combination, it's a hybrid, if you will. Uh, Rufina Patis, can you please listen? As a teacher from local government. Uh, and if we if we put together that group, I'm not sure, I'm going to have to really study this hard. Uh, the mayors will be Itogo, Tuba, Sablan, Lauterida, because we need leaders there. Uh, but in accordance with the comprehensive master plan, all right, we will designate these areas for agriculture, like my bill in Rich, uh, for export processing zones, which you have there yung, uh, in your uh, uh, Texas instruments, and you can have more. Uh, you know, all kinds of tourism projects in the area, and you can start moving for safety all the other people and we can go back to a Baguio that is more convivial, livable. But this will take a lot of sacrifices. This is akin to Pudong in China, where the Chinese brought out 250,000 people in one district in China and brought them out. And if we take a look at uh, Pudong now, Pudong was a squatter area. And I'm trying to do the magic. Pudong, where are you? There, it's about to come. I was uh, whispering to my crystal ball. And uh, my niece is not working as fast as it's a goal. Pudong was transferred, and now Pudong is one of the stellar cities of uh, Shanghai. So having said that, we could do the same thing. What kind of powers are we going to give? Obviously, every local government has the power of eminent domain, all right? Now, let me talk, show you uh, the Baguio that we do not want before I go to Pudong. I showed it last time, and these are the pavelas like Brazil. In Baguio, you have all the hills being occupied. And can you imagine a 25,000 people designed city has now 550,000 people. Is that correct? 
chances come in, daytime, nighttime will be 500,000, right? Daytime. Look at that. Let's take a look. That's Brazil. May as well be Baguio. And that's Baguio. Huh? Kirino Hill. Oh. What is that? Why are you using favela? That's a Portuguese word. I kept telling you that. All right? Now, that's Brazil. I can cover Brazil. It's also B and put Baguio there and nobody will know. Now, wala yung mga pine trees na nung araw, madaling umibig ang babae sa isang lalaki na ano na pag nandun kami. No. <laughs> na wala lahat dyan. So, if you go back to Baguio, please. Can you please help out, Louis? Now, uh, where's the environment here? Neda, uh, environment? Ralph, would you say that's a 18% gradient? Would you allow settlements to be placed there? Uh, there is a, uh, a low, sir. Okay. My, my, my question yes, is simply answered by yes or no. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there is such a thing as the police power, the promotion of the general welfare for the safety of the people, for the decency and peacefulness of the people, right? Now, so, is that safe? Come on, Ralph. You're here to make decisions, you know. You're not here as a bureaucrat. A bureaucrat cannot make decisions. He always looks to the boss up there. Based on uh, our uh, hazard. That's why we have laws. Yeah. Based on our hazard map, sir, it's, you know, it's uh, highly, you know, highly susceptible to landslide. Highly susceptible to landslide. Yes, sir. And looking at history, every one of you, kung nagkaroon ng earthquake sa Baguio, at tinamaan niyan, libo-libo ang mamamatay. Kaba? Do not nod your head, Ralph. God gave you a voice. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. See? Magic. He speaks. So if there is an earthquake there, and everything collapses, Edna, patay ang tao, sino palagay niyo ang sisisihin ang tao? Yung mga nakatira dyan, ah, basta nandito kami. Pero pag namatay, ah, maghihiyaw, at tanggalin niyo kami dito. Ligtas nyo kami. But we don't have to do that, correct? And here's the vision of Mark. I shared that vision. I hope you shared that vision. Because instead of that, I'd like to see environment. Can you plant pine trees there again? DNR? Reynaldo, the king of the Gamo. And Ralph. Alay mga hari ang pangalan nyo. Sige. Pwede ba? Yeah, we can plant uh, shrubs and uh, small uh, uh, three species, sir. Pine tree, hindi na may babalik dyan? Hindi na, sir. Walang pine tree na dyan, sir. Huh? Walang pine tree, sir, and uh, walang spaces for planting pine trees. No, kung, kung ililipat mo yan. Yeah, it can be done, sir. If uh, we will transfer or uh, Kasi transfer ililipat yung lahat yung tao yan. Kanya, have we found pudong already? I told you to put it all together, my dear. Pudong, China, Shanghai. Just put it together in one slide. Anyway, this is Baguio. Ay, ay, ay. There you go. O, tignan niyo ang Pudong sa kaliwa, 1990. And look at what it is now, 2010. Same river. Look at the background, the foreground, and the background. I'm not saying that should be the model. I'm saying that what can be done can be done. And now, can you see it? Of course you may. Look, I have to leave it a little while. I have another committee hearing. Yes. We so have please answer directly. We are for a vision, no? Coming up with new 
uh, develop new towns, as they say. No? However, the problem in our area is all, ac actually, land areas there are protected areas, and they are hazardous areas. So there's, you know, I would like to give you an example. There was a resettlement. And I if thought, you were the president of the Philippines and there are hazardous areas and your people are living we there, should, we should wouldn't that be your duty to transfer them? But there are no places to Answer me first. There are no places. We could. We oh, want to. there are no places? There are no, even in Itoman, You can transfer example. them. Assuming you're correct. Would you transfer them in La Union? Would you transfer them elsewhere? Uh, I don't think uh, it's so realistic, sir. No. Oh, really? Way, are you we, glad? We would like to adapt. No, 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 no. Right, right now, and I'm being passionate here because, you know, the first thing that Filipinos would always say, no, hindi pwede yan, mahirap yan. Ngayon natin gumalaw. And yet, pakikipagsapan na kayo sa buhay ng tao, pag sumabog yan, tepok lahat yan, will you go to the, pre, the, the parents of the people who will die? And we are experiencing... Answer my question. Yes, sir, we are for resettlement. Oh, I don't care if you're for or against. But I'm simply don't... asking you a simple question. Because I'm Filipino, habang hindi tayo nagkakaroon ng common vision, we're never going to get to the promised land. That's why they call it the promised land. Okay. We have... I, I belong to an indigenous group, no? We look you belong to what? I'm, I'm an Igorot. And we know the yeah, concerns. So and you we have be issues on the ancestors. You know where the Igorot is now? Yes. They go down. Since Baguio is deteriorated, they go down and make Palimos, like the Aitas now. Because I there are no opportunities there. You know what's happening to Banawe? Nobody wants to plant because everybody wants to be a college graduate and we're forgetting the Banawe rice terraces. We even gave 50 million. I don't know what happened to it when I was Secretary of Tourism. What happened? Para repair, para restore. In fact, talo na kayo ng Thailand, talo na kayo ng Vietnam, meron sila ng rice terraces doon. So you have to know that the only thing that is real, that is realistic, is change. The only thing permanent is change. Heraclitus said that in Greek, in, 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 in Greek uh, history and mythology, philosophy. The only thing permanent is change. So if you do not want to change, well, I'm going to try, even if I'm not from there, but I will say with Mark Go, go ahead. I did not want the bases to leave, but the senators here at that time kicked the bases out. Ano nangyari sa Clarkfield? Ano nangyari sa Subic? Pinaglaban namin. Hindi pwede yung pre-port, bawal yan. Ngayon na naman sinasabi, wala na export processing zone. I, I oppose that. Because you have no jobs. That is realistic. The tragedy of people who want to have an opportunity to choose their lives, makapili ng hanap buhay, tatanggalin pa. Abay, teka muna, magpalit kayo. So sinasabi ko, ang laki ng bayan na pinapakita niyo nga ulit, Mark. Ilang bayan yan? Whew. Yes, sir. Uh, in fairness to the different municipalities, sir, being the mayor of Tuba, our uh, CLUP or Comprehensive Land Use Plan has ju was just approved. So it's good that uh, we have visited a very wide areas. Uh, we will have to separate the residential, industrial, commercial. And I think uh, the NEDA should present the total picture of uh, the blessed uh, area. Para makita natin, kasi noong last time po sa so umpong, Nagkahanap sila kung saan ang relocation. It's Sir. only two ba siguro ang pwede yung may relocation site. Sir, ako matagal na ako ng mayor, 1980. Nineda na noon. Walang gumawa ng master plan kundi kami. Walang naglabi na Subic Bay Preport. Kaharangin pa. Pero nagawa namin dahil gusto namin. Kung gusto, maraming paraan. Kung ayaw, maraming dahilan. Now, NEDA should really assert itself and make sure na ito pwede yung paglagyan. But, can we put the genie back into the bottle? I think so, in the case of Baguio, because it's unsafe. The primary purpose of government is to protect the life of the people, create unity, stability, and create a future where there is choice. Choice for the country, choice for our individual citizens, 
who don't have to go find their future in foreign shores, but find their future right there in your own country. So, we're here. Kita nyo, vision pa lang ito, nagkakagulo na tayo. But, maswerte lang kayo, I intend to fight for this because I think it doesn't belong to the Cordilleras alone. It belongs to the country. Now, I'm not going to impose my will upon you, but I will say, ito ang vision, anong gusto niyang gawin? Kung sasabihin niyo, ay gaganyan lang kami, upo kami sa kamay namin, at tula kami magagawa, ay excuse me, hindi naman po pwede yan. Kailangan may, meron tayong gagawin na dapat mabago natin. And we have to have strength of character to do that. Now, I know, sasabihin mo, walang paglalagyan. I'm sure meron. My gosh, wala naman paglalagyan sa Baguio. Paano kayo nagkatayo ng mga universities dyan? Uy, wala paglalagyan. Pati nga bundok, kinuha na eh. Oh, andyan nalagay ang PMA noong araw. Yun na lang, buti pa. May PMA na tira. Buti pa yung John Hay. The Americans protected Baguio. You cannot even protect Baguio. I fought for BCDA. I said, free port na rin. Gawin nyo ng free port yung John Hay. Ginawa natin. Pati la Union, ginawa na yung free port. Pero nasa sa tao kung gusto magbago, kung ayaw nila, wala mangyayari. I'm not supposed to argue, pero I, I don't like to see people saying, oh, we, do not, we know what we do not want. But do you know what you want? Yes, sir, Joseph. There's another Joseph there and another Joseph here. Joseph, the Alabans. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, that's, uh, that's precisely why we're here, sir. Because we'd like really to make the bliss Baguio, La Trinidad, Itaugon, Sablan, Tuba, Tubray, to plan together. They inter interconnect with each other. They cannot isolate themselves from each other. So <laughs> that is why we are suggesting that we create a bliss metro area or development area so that that interaction comes in because you, uh, there's that tendency to isolate yourself. I am here, you are there. But what is important is that movement towards togetherness. Kung, kung, when kung, kung I do something po, here, atin to, sabi ni Desiderio, sabi ko naman, amin to. E, tiga tenayo ko, tiga yupi ako, amin to. Para yung panalo tayo. In other words, lahat to mga to, you plan together and yes. create a new yes. future for the area, yes. new choices for the area. Yes. Tama po kayo? Yes. Yes, yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, uh, that's why uh, we're glad that uh, this is a, this is where we can express ourselves, really. This is because the people's chamber. Go ahead. Uh, sometimes we hesitate, but another point, sir, huh? you were mentioning about you know, public... You know what I love about the people of Baguio? You're all articulate. Magaling ang Baguio, magaling ang mga tao niya. They're well-educated. Go ahead, sir. Okay. I'm proud of you. Uh, another, Even if another, you disagree with me, yes. I'm proud of you. <laughs> and I'm proud of you. <laughs> another, another point, sir, and I think this is the first time that it occurred in the Philippines, was to generate interest among children. That's why we said, we went around throughout the Blist area, uh, met with the elementary school stu uh, students, and we went into a charrette. And the charrette is their own way of uh, suggesting what they want in the future. The new word, a uh, charrette. Yes, and it is a French word. It says getting them <laughs> together. Anong charrette? Anong charrette? Yes. Educate me, please. Uh, the charrette, sir, is a, uh, a means of public participation. Oh, okay, charrette. Uh, Iba charrette. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, uh, That's why we like you, sir, because you have uh, all these jokes, eh? <laughs> no, it will make you laugh. We'll make you laugh. Come to Baguio and you'll laugh all the time. <laughs> okay, so anyway, sir, uh, this is what we're trying to do. And I said we, we utilize the charrette as a means of expression of our children. The question was, what do you, what do you think of Baguio now? And my golly, the, 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 re the response was very negative. Then we said, okay, what then do you want Baguio to be? Oh boy, they became very creative, you know, sir. There was one child, eight years old, and he was thinking of a tram line from Baguio to La Trinidad. 
Look at that, an eight-year-old kid thinking already about that. Because we involve them so much in, in decision-making. That is the beauty of what you're saying. If I were to ask somebody in Manila, maglalagay ako ng train underneath the Pasig, sasabihin, ako kukurakutin lang yan. Hindi kami maniniwala dyan. Let alone if I say, we'll put a bridge from Ternate over Corridor to go to Manila Bay and go to the other side. Ako kukurakutin. Lalo na pag sinabi ko may train. And yet, they have trains underneath the British uh, uh, the Channel crossing in uh, France. In Taninyo, Tigo, Hong Kong, oh, kaya-kaya namin yan. Dami namin train underwater eh. Can you send them out of the moon? Oh, yeah, kaya, kaya namin. Oh, kaya. Yung mga Chinese, magpapadala ng inchik sa buwan. Eh, tayo, eh, wala pa tayo kwan. Pati yung lugar natin, inokupahan na ng mga Chinese ngayon. Eh, hindi naman talaga. Kaya nga dapat to, we have to provide new visions and new aspirations for our people. I like, I like, I like what you're saying. Because at least yung mga bata, alam nila eh, nagigipit sila eh. Nagigipit sila eh. From the mouth of babes, Come truth. Okay, well, yes, Edna, do you want to say something? Yes, this is... I like uh, Edna. She's feisty. This, uh, <laughs> Go ahead. this in connection, we uh, mentioned, uh, mentioned by Sir Alabanza. We were together since the beginning eh, of this one. May pinaksamahan kayo dati? When I was mayor... Ah. Not what you're thinking, Sir, ha? Ah, wala naman ako sinasabi. May pinaksamahan lang kayo eh. Okay, Can naman, no. Oh. Um, um, was... What we're asking lang sa La Trinidad, I asked the mayor, can you ano, conduct in La Trinidad a consultation para we'll discuss this? Because they don't, the officials um, don't have the monopoly of nothing. Edna, so my dear, did you hear me say Public we're going up here? to Baguio? Kaya nga, we, are, uh, we welcome that, sir. Uh, we'll, we'll be waiting for Kaya that. Kaya mo ba We'll be... <laughs> 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 we would love to go to Baguio and yeah. talk to everybody. Can you bring La Trinidad to a center in Baguio where we oh, can all talk? We, we always do that. Mark, sir. can you do that? Yes, we I, I think there's no Kasi problem. Uh, po po tayo Mr. Government Mayor, kinakabahan ako dyan eh. Uh, well, in response to that, um, uh, Mr. Chair, uh, we have conducted uh, public hearing in the House and I have met with uh, several councils in, uh, in Baguio, in Tuba, in uh, Itogon, in uh, uh, even La Trinidad. And I met with the mayor, vice mayor, the whole council. Mm -hmm. And all of them uh, agreed uh, with this bill. It's too unfortunate that uh, this was not discussed uh, there. with some of the interest groups, probably. Uh -huh. uh, there, there will be that. There will uh, be disagreement, but yes. we will find agreement. We, we, we have incorporated, actually, the proposed amendments that they had uh, when we had uh, the discussion in the Did House. Did you talk to the Bonto Cowboys? We, my mother, my <laughs> father. Well, you know, you know, you know. Lovely to, to you, I would, I, I'm very happy. <laughs> I'm very happy, Mr. Chair, that uh, you are speaking for us, and I think uh, uh, we are assured of the success of this bill. We will fight for this bill because it is needed. Yes, so all right. It's similar to the bill that uh, we just approved in the bike. Oh, yeah, rich, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, rich, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, it was uh, game changer. Game changer, and this is it. Uh, because if we don't do anything. Similar to this in Baguio and the rest of the... I'll tell you already, sasabihin lang, paano yung property namin dito? Yan ang una sasabihin ng Pilipino dyan. Yan ang una, paano yung property namin dito? Kataka na kami dito, lumaki na kami dito. Eh, you know, eh, eh, di, kung gusto ninyo, sabi ko, alam nyo, one time I went there, sanan nyo na ang Baguio, bahala na kayo dito, lipat tayo sa Itogon. Gawa tayo ng bagong Baguio doon. I said that. Oh, di ba? You remember me? I don't know if you were there, but I think it's Puri. Sano mo ka lang, paano tayo makakakuha ng turista dito? Ang pupuntahan na lang, ayaw, when I go to Baguio, when I go there, sumasama ang loob ko, I just go to the country club and then leave right away. When I've done my speech, I'll go right away back. Sumasama ang loob ko eh, sayang eh. And my father taught me never to say sayang. You have to change it and make it better again. Now, that is one thing that we will have to answer, Mark, when you go there, because in your master plan, NEDA should go full court press between now and the hearing and show a mock-up of what can be, of what can be. Because if you don't show a mock-up, and what are the legal r rights of the people who may have to go and transfer there? No? Uh, there is such a thing as eminent domain, expropriation. 
No? Pero yan, no? That is the power of the power of taxation, eminent domain, even the power to, in times of war, to get people to fight for the country. Maybe yan. So, hindi naman absolute ang rights ng tao. Eh. May duties rin tayo. Eh. Mark, you want to say something? Yeah, well, uh, we, we have identified the functions of uh, the Belize Development Authority once it is organized. Uh, it does not provide yet uh, the power to tax, the power to exercise the, the eminent domain. May kasama yan. Lamay ko yan sa power ninyo. So we can, we can include that uh, as an yes. amendment. Uh, In fact, I just, I was just second to, to telling my staff, nag-argue pa kami. Sabi ko, no, may power at local government na mag-expropriate. But, so, ang question dito, do you want to create a new entity called Metro? Uh, we, we call it Bliss. Uh, we want to be... Alam ko, alam ko, para marinig ng mga nanonood sa atin. Baguio, Baguio, La Trinda, Ditogon, Sablan, Tuba, and Tuba. Ito yung sinama nyo lang, ang dami-dami na, nangihilo na. New Baguio! Yeah, but... New York! New Jersey! Some local officials outside of Baguio are averse to just focusing on, you know, Baguio. You have to distinguish it in form and substance. If you want to say, new tuba. Yeah, okay, tamo, okay sa kagod, oh. Nagali lang yan, eh. New itogon. Pero yung kabuoan, new Baguio. Parang, uy, parang may pag-asang bago, di ba? I mean, I'm just saying. I'm not the one who's going to say this. You have to... Talk to the people. And then when you, ang mabigat dito, neda, at saka yung legal, no? Is when you transfer to that area. Kailangan may pupuntahan. Let's say you form something in Itogon or you form something in Tuba. Nakasubdivide na yan, like Rich. In the case of Rich, we subdivide by master plan all the areas that investors or the people of the Philippines can go to ready na and they can trade their property for an opportunity in the area with, that's why we have to create, be creative here. The government will have to put tremendous funding here para magawa ito kaagad. Eh kung nagagawa nila sa Boracay, puro mayayaman lang ang kumikita doon eh. O, nung ang magagalit sa akin eh, yan rin ang nagdumi ng Boracay, pwede natin gawin dito. For our country talaga ito, hindi naman for pride lang na meron tayong white beach. Ito talaga dapat. Ito, may history ang Baguio eh. Ang Boracay, konti lang history, pero ang Baguio, tao ang history niyan. Tao ang history niyan. Yes, uh, uh, Joseph, the other Joseph with uh, the follicle challenge, Joseph. Sir, uh... Hindi niya may sinabi ko? Hindi niya na hindi niya. Ito mo yung mas matanda. So, yun, puti ang buhok. Ikaw, wala ka ng buhok. Wala ka ng buhok eh. Nakapaglala, tatay ko rin kalbo. Don't worry. Go ahead. Sir, may I ask permission if it's okay to read a statement? You don't have to ask permission. Why do you ask permission? Then we go out. Go. Okay, sir. It's hindi naman. Persia, Persia nga po. Maroon bang Ilocano? Salita Ilocano? Basit, basit lang. Basit lang. Pareho tayo. Sige. Okay. As per the explanatory note by the Honorable Ralph Recto, he wrote, the proposed Bliss DA will render services that will respond to the challenges and problems of the city, of that city is facing. I regret to say to the honorable members of this panel that the Bliss DA is just a ban aid solution. Why? Yes, sir. It's a ban aid solution. I'm sorry, hindi naman sa ayaw. It's a ban aid solution. Why? The proposed Bliss DA is not going to help Baguio City. It will only aid in proliferating the city's self-inflicted real estate troubles to the neighboring municipalities. We need to find an alternative solution and give the LGU of Baguio the opportunity to fix its problems locally without the help from the neighboring municipalities. It is critical that the LGU be given this opportunity to correct the wrong rather than giving the LGU Bliss DA as their easy way out. To solve a problem like that of the city of Baguio, one must first identify the source or the root of the problem. I am sure that the honorable members of this panel will come to an agreement that the root cause of Baguio's problem is bad management and poor vision. 
For example, how can a good corporate manager allow Baguio's population to grow to 345,366 on a land area that's only 5,751 hectares? That's a population density of 6,005 people per square kilometers. While La Trinidad, who has 7,004 hectares as its land area, has a population density of only 1,844 people per square kilometer. The LGU of Baguio needs to be made accountable for its actions and be admonished for allowing this problem to run for decades and to let it stretch out to this magnitude. Using the idiom, never mix a bad apple with a good ones, with the good ones. Let us not sugarcoat it anymore. Decades of mismanagement has turned Baguio into the bad apple. However, there is light at the end of the tunnel. The damage already done is not completely irreversible. However, it is crucial that the city's problem be contained so that the neighboring municipalities do not make the same mistakes under the guise of, quote, progressive development, unquote. We have already seen the high price that the citizens of Baguio paid for that so-called progressive development. Baguio's corporate managers, LGU, do not even have the competence to be part of this Metropolitan Development Authority concept, and much less has the capability to take any sort of leadership role. Unfortunately, Baguio's LGU is not the role model for sustainable development. To further emphasize, Baguio's LGU policies seem to counter any sound urban planning. To name a few, the listing of Mines View as a park due to over-commercialization, allowing large companies to bend the rules, total disregard for the preservation of historical and heritage sites, failure to address the worsening traffic congestion, uncontrolled development, no sustainable and responsible solid waste management system, failure of the LGU to adequately deal with tourist-related problems such as traffic and garbage this has made Baguio locals resent the presence of tourists. The truth is that Baguio has been crying for help for so many years. We need to rethink our steps. Now is not the right time to launch Bliss DA. The best way forward for Baguio is for the LGU to act, as, uh, to act soon as good governing corporate managers and fix the city's problems that they themselves created and not just take the easy way out. It is time that the LGU of Baguio exhibit some dignity and take this opportunity to do the right thing for Baguio first without the Bliss DA. Thank you. Uy, pala po si Edna. Di ba Joseph ang may kasaralan niya, kamo, LGU? Yes. Yes, sir. How long has it been going on? Many, many years, sir. Oh, and you expect them to change overnight? Sir, uh, I'm just going by the analogy na if we have a, a, a child and nakita mo yung child not performing well in your school, what you do, you don't make the assignments for them, but you teach them how to, to do their assignment and do well. So the principle we're applying here is kind of similar. You know, what, you just, what you just described, happens in the whole country. Ako, I've been, my family has been in the forefront of changing our community, and every time my father is assassinated, babalik sa dati, pag napalitan. My mother takes over, I use it, pag napalitan siya, babalik sa dati. You know, it's as simple as, you have to come up with ideas easy enough to say kasalanan ng LGU yan. I can take it back to you and say, LGU created the problem. Hindi lang si Dumogan, hindi lang yung mga nakaraan. Everybody. Untrammeled population expansion within. He never said there was something about nakalabang ba kayo sa SM? 
Do you agree with SM being in Baguio up there? Well, m sir, it's not about whether SM is in Baguio. What's the, qu the question, sir, is your location ng SM in Baguio is wrong. Precisely. Precisely. It dwarfed everybody. Now they even have that big Ferris wheel, that ranch. Yes, sir. I never heard you say something about them. I, I, I complain about SM. You know, the traffic in Elsa is caused by all these malls, park in park. In park, in a great park. I mean, you create malls outside of city limits, but you create new communities. SM should have built in Itogon, and I bet you, or Tuba, I bet you a lot of people will go to Tuba, especially if they have ready-made plotted back, uh, homes, or ready-made condominiums there, or ready-made, they will go there. They follow where development is, but if in this country it's the reverse, they take over what is government land already, what is developed, and then they exacerbate it, and that is why the traffic will never be solved in Baguio. The traffic is hard to solve in Manila. Even if you put several trains here, you still gonna have a problem. You need to change radically. And for that, you need new development. You're not here. Let me show you what happened in not only Pudong, in uh, London, in the Docklands, or in New York, South Street Seaport, or San Francisco before in the Hamburger District. Ganunyan. Always, always, remember the Barbary Coast in New York, all the whorehouses and all the other things there? They can change. And they did that by creating suburbia. New York went to New Jersey, New York went to other places like Connecticut, yeah, Inner Harbor, Maryland used to be uh, the dumps. Uh, yeah, Canary Wharf in London used to be like that. Now, they've got tourism, they've got all kinds of places, and it spreads out not just in the Canary Wharf, South Street Seaport, New York. Yeah, so in Sabihin, you have to really drain the swamp, so to speak, to a certain extent, and that is what you call social engineering. Sometimes you have to do that. Sir, we have presented to the LGU solutions for the traffic. Mm. But the LGU... Did they listen to you? No, sir. They of course they will not. Because they have an... Uh, if we look at uh, the matrix that we created, it is... Uh, there is no intention to cure the Kasi disease. Kasi nasabi mo problema ng buong bansa yan. Kaya nga... Uh, is it CNN? If we can't, if we can't do what uh, somebody else wants to do, uh, just get out of the way. Let him do what has to be done. Unless you have a better idea. And your idea goes back to local government. And do people know how to vote? I say yes, but even that is obviated by money, by guns, by goons, by gold. You know that. Yes, sir. I want to change this country overnight. But until people start listening, you see, ako, I believe in showing people the alternative. We can do a subi. We can change our transport system in Olongapo. We can change the way we do garbage. We can have a free port and we can have all these other things. In tourism, without any money with it, intramuros can change. Even now, the other day. Can you bring back intramuros during your time? No, I said, I'm good. Look at this. I want, I'm just sharing this with you because I'm very passionate about it. You have the result part. Uh, let me ask you a question. When you have a tourist mark, where will you take them in, in Manila? Luneta. Intramuros. Uh, and what is in intramuros? Blight. Blight. Right? And we got the people in Blight to help us when we were in tourism, right? We created the uh, uh, history town. We created uh, every month. We had a new region. And that created what in turn? Domestic tourism. They discovered, oh, maganda pala doon sa Samuaga. Masarap pala yung pagkain na doon. Masarap pala yung, yung kanilang... Uh, they, they, they discovered it. How about that? That's Fullerton Hotel. That's Manila Central Office, Post Office. We wanted to make that a hotel. We already had somebody signing it. Fullerton signed it with us. I signed it. Ano nangyari? Nag-coup d'etat. Nawala. 
Chinatown can be built up. San Francisco is Chinatown. New York is Chinatown. You know, Intermuros could be, you know, the, the uh, in, in Germany, in, in, uh, in uh, Warsaw, the old uh, town that uh, they, they so, you know, the, the communists built it brick by brick. And they built it, no? Oh, look at the school town. Wala na. We keep losing our culture, our traditions, and they have to change them to make the adjustment. In the same way, Baguio has to make the adjustment. I don't know why I'm arguing. It should be Marco who should be arguing it. But you see, I can't just sit by and allow mediocrity, corruption to win. We do have an alternative, sir. What is the alternative? No build zone. We've already uh, placed a, uh, a letter to the president. Uh, uh, Mr. Chair. It's another uh, op option. We're not saying totally drop no build PCA. zone. Wala na nga kayo paglagyan eh. Kaya ka ba na nandun yung tao sa bundok ng Baguio? No, sir. Oh. Um, no, no build job, pero they build. Di ba, remember in Tacloban, after Hayan, I was there. I built 8,000 homes with the Red Cross. Oh, sabi, oh, no build zone. Anong ginawa ng mga tao doon? Tinanggal yung no. Build zone on the beach. Sir, if I'll have the opportunity to uh, show you the, pr the model that Go we ahead. built. Uh, sir, two minutes. Uh, I'll just set it up. No, 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 no Okay, kayo naninood, nagkikinig. I'm just arguing para lumabas yung natural ng tao, ha? Lumabas yung mga ideas ninyo. Oh. Uh, Mr. Chair, while uh, he's Mark. preparing, uh, if the problem is the local government, uh, we, we cannot anymore uh, address that. Uh, I think this bill is uh, the one that will address the problem. We cannot just uh, improve Baguio without doing anything around Baguio. Can you fry an egg without cracking a shell? Exactly. Exactly. If we just want, like, uh, there is this mismanagement of Baguio, we allow people to go there. Uh, the concept is for only 25,000 people. Now we have more than 350. We did Panagbenga then. We did Panagbenga. Without Panagbenga uh, in Baguio. And we have the 350,000 people. Yeah, pagdating ng pinagbega dyan, wala ka na, hindi, wala ka na malakaran dyan eh. Uh, not really that, this Everybody is... Everybody goes there. They still love Baguio in spite of that. Yeah. Mr. Chair. Kung talaga, hindi ba dapat, Mark, ano ba talaga tayo dyan? Tourism or education? Both. Kakasya ba yan? That, that is precisely... Doon na wala eh. Doon na wala eh. Mr. Chair, that's precisely the reason why we have this bill. Correct. We would like to uh, not only decongest uh, the city of Baguio, but at the same time to help the other areas to develop. We can put up a university center in Sablan. University uh, town. Or university town in Sablan. We can have uh, agricultural development in, uh, in Tuba or even in Tublay. You heard me last time, huh? <laughs> Mr. ST, ilalagay mo doon sa mga bayan na yan. Kasi yun. Ang karakter na ilalagay mo doon sa mga bayan na yan. Are you ready? Oh, it's three minutes. Dataka ako, bigla pumasok na balik tayo sa dati. Yung problema namin kasi sa Baguio, maraming gustong gawin, hindi naman magawa. Maraming nagko-comment uh, at wala namang magandang suggestion para ma-resolve natin. Pero dapat eh, alamin natin kasi we have to have an alternative. We have to listen to everybody and we have to make sure that when we present this to Baguio, Neda, are you ready to present this to Baguio? Can you show me some uh, ika nga back of the envelope dirty planning na makikita mo o oh, sinasabi niya, Tuba. What will you put in Tuba? University of Sablan, University of Town. Oh, too bad. You want to put more uh, BPOs there or you want to do that with the Baguio University? You want to put the University of Baguio? Kunyo lang gusto ninyo. 
ang pa, wala, maglagay ka na ng tren dyan at sa bagay pa lakit, wala ng traffic akit, pwede mo gawin yan. You can do a lot of things. You can, all the hotels should be, uh, ano mo pinakamalapit sa bagay na malapit uh, na maglagyan? Tuba, di ba? La Trinidad, o oh, yan. Lalampas ka pa ng Baguio. Lalampas ka pa doon, di ba? Pero bago ka dumating ng Baguio. Tuba, di ba? Tama, o, di ba? O, maraming man lupa doon, boss. Marami? Walang may lang. Walang may lang. Sir, ang problema ganito. Ano po? Ang traffic, grabe na. Wala pa lang, wala pang pinagbenga. I, I just would like to ask. Traffic, grabe. O, yung close kasi, sir, na matagal na yung Canon Road. I just would like to ask kung kailan ma-open, sir, yung Canon Road. Kasi ang tagal yung tulay. Magtutoy years na yata yung tulay Hindi kung sino ang kontakto. Ayawang ko, sir. Pembistagaan na yun, sir, kung maaari. Can you write a letter? I will, I will tell Secretary Villa. Yes, sir. Sir, sasagutin ko na po, Your Honor. Yes. And I answer it directly. Oh, uh -oh. si Bursio Carlos. Yes. Uh, D.P.W.H. Yung tulay, matatapos na yan sa ano, end of February 28. Oh. I assume in September 2018. Oo. Uh -oh. Kaya ang unang ginawa ng kung makikita nyo po, nahulog po yung ano, nasira yung Camp 5, Camp 6, Camp 1. So, paano nila gagawin yung tulay? Excuse me. Tibo, can you show me yung map ng Kenan Road at kusahan yung mga Camp 5 saka para nalaman? Do you have a Kenan? Yes. Do you have a USB? Yes. Do you have a USB? Ha? Please do not nod your head. Yes sir, meron yan. Yan yan. Oo, yan. Oo. Mamaya, huwag tapos siya. Pagdaya mo lang muna siya matapos. Huwag kami matatapos siya ng February. But my point is, Mariano, Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. We can move, let's say, can you have hotels there? Mga inns. Oh, mas maganda. In Japan, they have, ang tawag doon sa Japan? Ryokan. Mabuti pa, the small people can have little inns. Di ba? The indigenous tribes can have their So say, well, you can, the OT can train them, right? Oh, yeah, you do. Oh, see? I, I know. I, we tried to do that before, di ba? Oh, kaya lang talaga. You have to have choices. But what we're talking about here is choices, ma'am. Ang tinatawag na rin, choices. Sa Baguio, we're already, wala na eh. Sarado na lahat eh. You have to go on urban renewal. Hindi naman sasabihin, papabayaan natin ng Baguio, drain the swamp. When I say that, major radical is what I say, just to give you an idea, you have to move, there's no choice, you have to move certain people into new settlements. You want preservation. Have you ever been to Annapolis, Maryland? That's an old, old town where they have the Naval Academy. Boy, walang congestion. Halos walang traffic. Are you ready? No, no. Are you ready? Okay. Are you ready? Can you show it? Please be quick. Ako, pag wala kayong plano doon sa harap niya sa Baguio, ang masasabihin ka agad ng mga property owners niya, paano kami? And you have to answer. And it is an election year. So, sasabihin na lang, ako, hindi namin kayo boboto. Oo. Ako, hindi ako takot doon, hindi ako bumoboto. Basta tama yung paglalaban ko. Kahit hindi niyo ako iboto, di ba nigas kayo? Gusto niyang ganyan? Ang nigas kayo. You want to be like that all our lives? You want to be, you want to have people without any choice? Nakakulong sila sa kanilang bayan o walang kinabukasan? Excuse me. What kind of a public official are you if you cannot lead? Cannot provide choices? Go ahead, Joseph. Mr. Chair, I'm very lucky that uh, I'm just new in politics uh, and uh, the very reason why uh, we are here is because of these problems that... Uh, politics is not a dirty word. We make it a dirty word by voting for the wrong people. That's why it's dirty. How can you change if you keep voting for the same people? Uh, 
Hindi niya naman inaayos. Go ahead. How long is that? Uh, it's just a short sale. I'm not gonna show the whole, all, well, all of it. How long? How many slides? Uh, to the point. There are 46 okay. slides. Your vision is a no-build zone. Is that the vision? Yes, sir. The, the solution, the approach to solve the problems in Baguio. Do you, do you include those informal settlers who are building their houses uh, in this? Uh, we'll just go through it, sir. It, it, it will be covered. Okay. So this is basically the rehabilitation of Baguio City. So on this slide, it's just to show you quickly the 1990 earthquake, okay? Mm. Uh, did we learn our lessons from here? So now, oops, uh, next slide, please. This is how Baguio looks like. So it's over development. Next slide. This is just a caption of how the importance of uh, trees in our land. Next slide. During the typhoon on Tong, this is like things that we experience because of uh, <laughs> so Baguio, can you imagine? Okay. Uh, landslides and flooding brought by poor environment protection, poor drainage, and overdevelopment. Next slide. DPWH Car has been doing a lot of road widening projects that only provided minimal benefit to the city. During the road widening projects, you will notice that the storm drainage system are left untouched. This is a problem because DPWs have increased the area of road surface, thus increasing storm water. Know, that's what you're saying is pagitan tao lahat yung ginagawa ng gobyerno without widen pero walang drainage. And then that's what I, you're yeah, sorry, that's one of the no, no, shortage, my question. Sorry, shortage of the design. You cannot just cherry pick your arguments. The shortcoming of the designs. Do not cherry pick your arguments. Hmm. You're saying, oh, ginagawa, walang drainage. Eh, kaya nga bumaba eh. Di ba? Yes, sir. So, ang problema, hindi lang local government, pati national government. Yes, sir. Round that goes to the old storm drainage. It left uncorrected. This will cause a turn, a uh, one big waterway. So, that's what's happening with the, after the road widenings. I know. I said direct Next. cross there. I had payloaders there. Right, okay. Tibulisho? Next Diba? Slide. Nandun sa inyo sa Benguet? Go okay. ahead. This is, a, mountain province. this is a wide, uh, wide widened road. And look at what's happening now. Traffic congestion, uh, a one lane turning into uh, a two lane, turning into a four lane traffic. Next slide, please. So um, I'll just skip this one. Skip. Skip again for the, uh, the rationale. Okay. The no build zone. Um, uh, the no build zone objective is not to close Baguio City like Boracay. The aim is to slow down the development of Baguio to give, it, uh, to give it time to breathe and time to rehabilitate the city. My question is simple. Public Works, who is in city planning here? Anybody from one? Mark, do you know? Uh, uh, in Baguio, it's uh, Engineer Kayat. Is the what is the developed area of Baguio and what is the developable area of Baguio? Meron pa bang developable area? Well, Olana, sir. Olana. Olana. Can you ask her, Joseph? Uh, sir, uh, no Joseph sir. says Olana. It's it's a, it's on a very small percentage now, and they're touching the uh, parks. That's precisely what I'm saying. The problem is, you know, when you go to a land, an area, you look at the developed land, and what is the developable land, pa? And you want to make sure you reserve for public spaces, uh, for universities, for zones, and everything like that, without causing additional traffic. And you check whether the carrying capacity of Baguio, which was designed for 25,000, nung araw nung bata pa kami, nasa college pa kami, walang tubig sa Baguio. Hanggang ngayon. So, hindi na so-solve. And yet, ang trammel, paggawa ng condominium, uh, in law office namin, may condominium dyan nung araw, sa Baguio, nakikita na ako dahil ang hirap timira nung walang tubig eh. Oh. Ang, ang, ang ngayon, ang magandang tirahan dyan, talaga sa totoo lang, ayaw ko yung iba, uh, yung John Hay at saka yung Country Club. Diba? May, may trees. Yun ang old Baguio. Golf course. So, what are we talking about here? The focus of the no-build zone is to temporarily put on hold any plans of development until the permit process is reviewed and updated. 
all working in progress construction to be closely monitored to My ensure My question, Joseph, compliance. is can this be done even if we create a Metro Baguio? Honestly, sir, no. What? You cannot do it even if you have a Metro Baguio? You still have to do that. Sir, uh, my reason why I say no is because what will happen then is tapo natin dito, tapo natin doon. Hindi naman tapo, hindi naman tapo. We already have a proposal, sir, to put the solid waste management at Itogon. Uh, they are already... Uh, Where will you put the solid waste management then? Baguio City has, it, has to have its own. It needs where, to recall. Where? It needs to recall uh, public lands again to solve it. Kasi, uh, right now, sir, marami silang binibigay na lands eh. What are you public representing? Lands. Anong grupo mo? Sir, wala. Si, uh, just a, a concerned citizen, sir. Sorry? Concerned citizen lang ako. Concerned citizen? Oh, I see. Kala ko may nire-represent kang grupo. No, sir. I think I kind of know. Sorry. Okay, iwala mo na lang yan. Because when you answer me like that, let's say this is Baguio now, overloaded, all right? And you want to put some of this here in Tuba, some of this here in Itogon. You are lessening and allowing Baguio to breathe again. And then you allow some of this in another area. So ang carrying capacity ng Baguio, let's say, sabi mo lang 100,000, all right? And if you have tourists, another 100,000, and you can do marketing of Baguio in such a way na malayo pa, you, you're not going to overload it like I suggested to, to Boracay. There is a central booking area for tourism. And, you know, you have dorms for the schools so that they don't have to make pamasahe. They live in the dorm. And you can do that if we say Tuba. If Tuba will have the university town, Hindi ka na pwede maglagay ng University Town na wala kang dorm na makapaligid sa University Town. So, papasok na lang yung mga bata dyan. Ano nangyayari sa Baguio? They're all over. Nakiki, nakikiupa. Wala pabuntahan. So, allow other communities in the area to breathe. Sila ang mawawalan eh. Allow development. Development is you throw a rock in the middle of the area of a, of a placid lake and allow ripple effects to go and have development go to the other areas without overloading them again. That's why I'm saying I'm in favor. I'm aking sinasabi, hindi ko sinasabi ito tama. Maybe you have another idea. Yes, have Benguet, the whole of Benguet, yes, pareho pa rin, but you now develop the other towns along with Metro Baguio. Mr. Chair. Lang. And you are not going to allow anymore. You will have a professional uh, managers like in other in, in, in America they have a, a supervisor led or a strong mayor or a supervisor led a community I meaning to say there's a board of supervisors or you can have a mix para yung mayors hindi sila pwede makialam doon sa board of supervisors hindi sila pwede makialam dagdaga mo yan basta kung ano na pag-usapan have you ever been to San Francisco or to Berkeley when you go to a place in Berkeley nakalagay doon only 40 people in this room. Anything beyond 40 people, you're out of the parade. You'll be closed down. Same thing here. Yes, Milagros. Remando. Thank you, sir. Milagro ka? Neda? We will try, sir. But anyway, sir, since you've been mentioning the carrying capacity of Baguio, sana by the time you're able to come to Baguio, we would have completed uh, an ongoing uh, study on the urban carrying capacity of Baguio, sir. And uh, I'd just like to mention also that in fairness to our blessed uh, mayors, since 2010, they've been uh, meeting as uh, often as possible as a governing uh, council. Sure. And very limited uh, uh, resources, sir, but we've been trying hard to uh, plan together. Except that as interim secretariat ang NEDA, we can only do so much. And that is the reason that uh, we uh, support uh, that we establish a uh, more, more a stronger and more permanent body like this because there's a lot to do. Joint planning of, uh, of, of traffic, transportation, solid waste management, and so on. Sir. So we thank you that uh, you are supporting this. Uh, I, I always sir. look at history. I'm a history and garden major. You remember Nero singing, playing his harp while Rome was burning? Because the plebeians 
lived in the squatter areas in Rome, squalid. You remember the Thames River in London? They had all kinds of diseases, the Black Plague, no arrows all over Europe because of overpopulation in a single community because everybody wanted to live in the main area. Nagkakasakit ang tao pag nagkaroon ng pandemic, katakot-takot. And that is why you have to grow. If you get hit by pandemic in Baguio, ang bilis niyan, mauubos ang population nyo. So you really have to have breathing space. This is an idea that should have happened in the 1960s. Dapat doon sila sa ibang, no build zone. Ang 70s, no build zone. 1980, no build zone. Eh, build them, build it. I can share your idea. I love Baguio, even if I'm not from there. I grew up there, I have pleasant memories when I go to Baguio for NUS, National Union of Students. And, you know, when I was Secretary of Tourism, I believed in Baguio. At that time, I wanted to do it already. But talagang natatakot tayo sa mga local executives. I'm glad Marco is over here. He should be hailed as somebody who's coming up with a new idea, finally. And I hope all the mayors will join us. So, my request, I think, I think we've discussed it enough, no? We're just still in the vision, no? I don't think we can do it right away, at the rate we're going. I'm only worried na gusto ko sana matapos ito para masimulan. At least bago matapos itong 17th Congress, meron na tayong bill para aandar na yan, may pera na yan para umandar yung master planning, yung lahat, along with the other areas. Local government can plan, but it must be part of a whole area. Tuba cannot just do it on its own. Yun ang sinasahin mo. Everybody has got to say, ano ang carrying capacity? What are we? University town? Where is the main town? How much traffic are we going to grow? And you're going to be addressing the fact that forever Filipinos and tourists will want to go to Baguio. But they will go more if there's more area where they can put their... Uh, well, and you, you can even have mass transport systems there eventually. You know, if San Francisco has BART, you know, the rapid area, rapid transportation of uh, the Bay Area, rapid transportation, they call it BART, you can have that in Baguio. You can have BART, Baguio Area Rapid Transport System. Di ba? Wala namang, wala namang, wala namang penalty to dream eh. Wala penalty to dream, and this is what this country needs, vision. I must say I'm right, but when I go there, I'm sure babatuhin tayo dyan, magagalit ang tao, Lord, dilipat mo kami, mumurayan na tayo dyan, I'm sure may mga demo-demo pa dyan. You cannot crack an egg. You cannot fry an egg without cracking a shell. That's all I know. Right. Somebody's got to say, tama na, no more. And I believe, unlike you, Joseph, that when we do, when we do, Metro Baguio, you can still say no build zone in Baguio. Once you start building and start going on an orderly transfer, even in Metro Manila, you know what we need here? The building should go up, no more sprawl. Get traffic. Eh. Sir, yes. may, I, may I, sir? Sir, the transfer, we're not saying no. The transfer can be done even without the Bliss DA. Sorry? The transfer can be done with even without the Bliss DA. The, the, the thing that's concerning also on line 22 of the... Uh, of the uh, so, uh, uh, Mr. Chair, how, how do you do that? Uh, how do you do that? You just have a no-build zone, and uh, how do you transfer these people without uh, okay. this... Uh, the the no-build zone is only for Baguio, so that it will have yeah, a chance but, to... Yeah, uh, but it's already right now without any uh, new building, new facility. We are already over-congested. The traffic is still a problem. Yeah, please. Uh, you Mr. build Chair. that. If you go to Yolanda again, you go to any typhoon hit area again, and the government has built. I can show you areas where the government built homes in Iloilo. Hindi tinitirahan. You know why? Because there was no plan. No, alam ni Milagros yan. Wala naman development. Yung mga paralan, wala. Malayo sa hanap buhay, di wala transportation, hindi sila titira doon. But precisely, what Blitz is trying to do is create choices for them. And it's not going to happen in two years or three years. It's going to be a developing scenario. We can do it faster. It depends on how 
we believe it. No? But you can do it faster, and you can have private-public partnership if you will, or you can have government-led or local government-led. And then, you know, you can start building, uh, just as we are doing in uh, Central Luzon, you're rich. All the areas that will be occupied must have a master plan, must have housing, must have schools, and no more. Pag sinabing occupied na yan, wala na, huwag na tayong magdagdag. Para hindi na mamamasahay pupunta ko sa Maynila. Dito magtatrabaho, tapos uuwi, madaling araw na, alis, maaga pa. So yun ang sinasabi natin dito. Yun lang. Now, if you can find a better mousetrap, I'm willing to listen to it. I'm willing to champion this. There are political costs here, as you know. But I think, once people see na kaya palang gawin, okay, you know why Subic suddenly went up? Pagkita ng mga tao, ang sarap naman dito. Traffic is followed. It is an honor na mahuli ka ng tika Subic Police, ng Subic Bay Metropolitan Authority. The lot sumusunod. Hindi ka pwede magtayo dyan. Ako nga, nagagalit pag nagpapatayo sila. Kalahin nyo yung beach. Greed is the enemy of this country. Yung beach doon sa harap ng Subic, na wala lang ako, pinalagyan lahat ng mga, mga negosyo yung beach. A beach is owned by the public. They have the right to view. They should be across. If you look at Google, I'm sure I can have my girl. You look at Google, you look at the uh, beach in uh, Brazil, makita nyo, walang nakatayo sa beach. Nasa kabila. E dito lahat gusto. Go to any market in this country. Ayaw nila na kuhan, yung pasilyo paliit ng paliit. Kaya magsasabing ka, madudukutan ka because lumiliit yung pasilyo pag may sunog, lagot ka. And if you look at all the markets in this country, makita nyo, pag nabili na yung kanila kuha, ginagamit na storeroom, yung bubong nung kanila shed, kaya pag nasunog, sunog ang palengke. Because of lack of planning, because they are not buying in to a vision ang nakikita lang ng ating mga kababayan Pilipino, sarili lang natin. Ayan o, no, look at the beach in Kuwano. There's even a nice beach there na talagang derecho. Is that, is that Brazil? I've never been to Brazil. But that's, uh, is that, is that looks like Diamond Head. Could be South Africa. Ganyan. That's the way we should plan our beaches. The buildings are here. The view is everywhere na makikita na nasa building. Oh. So, that's the same way we want Baguio. Kung gusto pa natin ng universities dyan, universities. Gusto yung mga hotels? Okay lang kayo ng hotel. But, who wants to go to a place where there is no more? <laughs> you cannot even breathe. You cannot even travel. You cannot even... You know what? You know what is Baguio? Are you from Baguio? Session Road. Yes, sir. What's the best? Where's the best way you can get langunisa with eggs? Langunisa with eggs? Hindi na wala pa yung alabasa ng bata kami. Session Road Cafe. Star Cafe. Used to be Star Cafe. Wala na Star Cafe. Nasa yung Star Cafe? Wala na. Wala na. Nalpasin. Opo. Apo. Di ba? Nalpasin na? Namatay na lahat yun na andun. My God, when my father took me to Baguio, kasama kami yung pamilya namin. Doon natin kami. Baby ba doon ng araw? Doon natin kami nakatira. Yung sa Burnham Park, everybody enjoy. O ngayon, ano ang Burnham Park ninyo? Pinahiram namin sa Baguio yun eh. Lalagyan pa ng parking building. Ito si Mario Josep po. Eh talagang nalpasin. Oh, kinay na. Yan yan eh. So, Mark, can you schedule a visit? I want to talk to my staff and Mark, your staff should talk to Milano Cervando and all the mayors and we want to see What is in their master plan? Bago natin isulat yung batas. Assuming na meron silang master plan. O, kung wala, hindi magtulong-tulong. Meron ba? Meron yan. Yes. Yun nga. Yes, Joseph of Aramatia. Ay, ano ba? Master on. Ma'am, sa tala, I've already recognized your former sweetheart long time ago. The important thing, sir, is the fact that the different organizations, I mean, the different uh, municipalities are linked to each other. Correct. You cannot avoid that. And it is proper that they plan together. Of course. To study what is the role of my 
uh, 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 town I... and, and, and so on. Super, stop there. And I was a kid a long time ago. Uh, not, not too very long ago. <laughs> Ang sabi ko po yung sinabi niya, what is my role in my country's development? Yes. When I became mayor of Olongapo, what is the role of Olongapo in the country's development? Right. I'll yes. tell you. Yes. We had a base. Darating yung tiga Ayuwang, ilan nakapunta sa Asia, tapos na nakawan, pinagbawal ko yan. Gusto ko pag alis na, ang ganda naman ng, mababait ang mga tao. Kung ano pupunta ka sa Baguio, ay, masasaya tayo. O ngayon, wala na. Yes, Edna, ma'am, I'm sorry, tapusin na muna si Joseph, yung boyfriend nyo dati. Uh, anyway, uh, I think very critical is we look at the big picture first, which means the other municipalities around Baguio, and then discuss what is the role of each in terms of uh, generating uh, action on an agreed overall plan in the development of the total area. And then we go to the details. Uh, so we look at the big picture first and then go into the details. That's the idea. Sir, I would like to be radical here. When World War II happened, old Manila was fantastic. May choice by mga tao. Let they evacuate. Ermita burnt down. From Intramuros, there was carnage everywhere. Then to renew, ang problema natin, at that time, we could have restored Manila already. Muralla was never restored in Intramuros, kaya napuno na squatter. Nakaupo lahat ang mga leader. So, it's important na change has got to happen. Eh. Totoo na sinasabi, it's inevitable. Eh. So, I don't know whether we're rushing this too much. Take a look at this. Can you, between now, between Christmas and New Year, have your own meetings? Mark, can you go around there? So that pagdating natin doon, malino na sa tao. Ang gusto ko, pag-usapan ng tao. Because sila ang taya dito eh. Ang leader, nasabihin, gagawin natin ito, people must be part of the process of change. But change must happen. And it is up to the leader to show that's where we're going. Now, if we want to fine-tune it, fine-tune it. But everybody must be on the same page. If you do not do it that way, sorry. Remember, mapilindo ang vision dito, Malaysia, Philippines, and Indonesia? Hindi na tuloy. Anong ginawa ng Malaysia? Sinama niya yung Federation of Malaysia. Singapore was part of it. Malaysia was part of it. Sinama pa nila yung Saba. Tapos yung bandang uli, umalis sa Singapore. Who is more developed now? Singapore. And what do you think Singapore is doing? Kumukuha ng lupa sa Indonesia at saka sa Malaysia at saka sa Pilipinas para mag-reclaim. Hindi naman makakapag-reclaim ang bagyo eh. Kaya Singapore went up and the population has been controlled. Di ba? One is enough. Mr. Chair, I think we can... Yes. I Mark. think we can uh, schedule, if you wish to, we can have another consultation in, in, in the Cordillera or in the Bliss. But uh, let me tell you that uh, we have done this uh, before it was approved in the House. And probably some of those who are here today were not present during these uh, consultations and public hearings. So, uh, Mark, let's uh, give it one go. Yes. Uh, I, I May I suggest, Mark? Uh, yes. Mila, kayo mga tiga DPWH. I-drawing nyo lang, kahit ang paano. Edna, sumama ka. Kayo, Joseph. Kahit lang ikaw. Ito kayo nyo lang. Ano ang gagawin natin? Ano ang gagawin natin sa tuba? Yung muna, drawing lang yun. Drawing lang. Hindi yun ang mangyayari, no? You're just giving them the idea. Let's say, Sablan will be the university town. All right? And kung gusto pa nilang iba, eto, dito ang mga uh, universities, dapat may dorm yan, may ganyan. Tapos, o oh, ito, uh, around, ba around Baguio, yung mga hotels, mas malapit sa baba. And then somebody, DPWA should recommend uh, a BART or a common uh, area, no? And pag pa na-plano yan, ma'am, specific yan eh, pati lapad ng kalye, pa-planoin yan. Pati loting, aakuin ng mga developer, gano'n yan. Do not let the developers take over. They will just ruin it again. There's got to be a vision by the people. Kung gusto namin, ganito lang height ng building, you can do that. Kung gusto nyo mataas, 
Pwede rin. Pero dapat, eh, meron ba kayong bombero na pang 40 story? Wala. So, dapat talaga, kung ganito lang kataas, walang elevator, o kaya panay ins, dapat ilalagay nyo. Ngayon, palapad na palapad yan. Gumaganda ang kalye. Excuse me, young man, Joseph. Noong araw, parang umabot ka sa Baguio, 6 hours. Ngayon, meron na kayong NLEX. Meron kayong TPLEX. Ngayon, ginagawa pa yung bagong daan doon, di ba? Ha, ah, tibo? Ha? Ah? O, oh, aakit ang mabilis. So, mabilis yan. Ang gusto ko, walang bagyo sa airport, yung, yung luwakan. Dapat helicopter lang yung for emergencies or a special plane. Pero ang airport dapat sa La Union. And then you have a para-rapid transport system. Laparan nyo yung airport ng La Union. Mahaba. And then you can go. You have the beach and the pine trees of Baguio. And the culture of Baguio. Marami yung magagawa eh. Kaya lang, somebody's got to paint a picture define what we want for our country and i think you guys know it i don't you don't need me you can go strawberry picking in uh, in uh, well, that's to listen but at the same time don't lose it the plantation of strawberries are needed we need good strawberries in fact you should be having up grow bet bigger strawberries hanggang ngayon maliliit pa strawberry natin eh kasi lalaki ng mga ayta saka igurot pa dapat malaki na yan May, may respond also because it seems as if oh yan oh ganda ganda oh yes oh yes actually yes not only yes, in the valley but in the cauliflower but the lahat lettuce sir, may I tomato just, may I just say something sir yes of course this is also to give may I give also an advice talaga siga talaga siya na tumatayo pa oh no I've been in mayor for a long time. I've been in... <laughs> you can stand up if you're more comfortable. I see, no? They come up with uh, bills, no? What we're only asking for is a consultation because in La Trinidad, that is that undermine, no? The capacities and capabilities of the officials and the people because we always got You got it. Yes. You got it. That's why we have been winning. You got it, lady. No, we got <laughs> highland integrated JICA projects then, no? so don't undermine what <laughs> Baka, mami, Don't think that La Trinidad is growing. Kayo, na. Mami, China, We're also kayo. growing. No? And she knows Sir Paspanar na Baguio City. I am I'm with uh, Sir, yung statement niya, yung presentation niya. Ma'am, tama kayo. Ang um, problema ang Baguio inaabsorb. They want that the minister to absorb yung mga problems nila. It will be the housing for subland. What about our problems? We also have problems with housing. Of course. So that's why we have to also solve our problems muna there, no, for our people, and not get absorbing the problems. No, and we already, eh. actually, we've already established, no, road networks based on the urban, the original urban bliss plan, no. So I think you don't know, many of you don't know the history of the how the bliss came in. You know, ma'am. I, I think you're ma disregarding people's, you know, participation. Preno muna, preno, preno muna, preno muna, daddy. <laughs> No, no, I'm, I'm really angry because they are ramming things down our throats, no? Who's ramming? Am I ramming things down no, your throats? No, sir. Oh, well, you know, sir. <laughs> <laughs> well, you are the proponent. Well, uh... And we have done. But we you were open. We were open. Uh, we were Mr. Chair. We can laugh at each other. Mr. Chair, may I, uh... If I may be permitted. Then you tell me that... Order, order, order. There were questions I don't think she's just passionate here. like me. Good. She's just passionate. And I think that's why, Mark, I'm saying we should consult because I've been through this uh, scenario. I tell you, I was doing subic. Ang dami na kukomplain. Lahat sila, sila sa'yo. Okay, maniwala kay Gordon, lulukoyin kayo niyan. Kasi sabi niya, may duty free. Wala na Amerikano, lulukoyin kayo niyan. Nung magawa, Pasko, naku, kumakali sila, wala mga trabaho eh. I'll tell you this little story. Uh, Mahilig ako magkwento eh. Sabi ko doon sa mga kuhan, binid namin yung stores. Sabi ko, by December, bago mag Noche Buena, dapat may duty free. Sabi ng mga tao sa akin, hindi mangyayari. Kasi parang Hong Kong yan, kaya ako parang Singapore. Nanalo. Tapos, malapit na, sabi sa akin, Sir, sorry, yung barko namin darating bago mag New Year. Ah, sabi ko, sasara ko kayo. I told you that. You want the bid, you better fix it. All right? 
Ilan na pagdating ng December 23, tinawag ko mga tao, sir, nakakagulo doon sa pan. Punong-puno ng duty free, punong-puno ng tao. At alam niyo kung sino ang una nag, sa shopping? Yung mga tao sabi na nagluloko ko, nalilulokohin ko sila. Yung dating mayor, asawa ng mayor, nandun sila sa shop. Ang daming spam, ang daming binibili ng chocolate. Hila. Sabi ko, tiningnan ko sila, tumawa na lang ako eh. Look at that. Ganito ang dadalan niyo, mama. O, oh, yan, o. Oh. O, oh, see? May mapa rin ako. See? O, oh, yan. Sige, pakita niyo. O. Oh. Ang dami ko, may mga rally pa ako dyan para maintindihan ng tao. Ayan, o. Oh, ayan, o. Oh. Master plan. O, oh, kita niyo, darling. O, o. Huwag ka magsasello sa Joseph, ha. Ah. Uh, ayan. Ayan, yeah, o, well, master plan. O, oh, ayan. O, oh, ayan. Volunteer. Kasama ang tao. May buy-in ang tao. Alright? Sige pa. Ayan, yan na, niloko ko ang tao dyan. Niloko ko ang tao dyan. Binigyan ako ng aircraft carrier ng Amerikano. Yan ang huling carrier na naandyan yan. I think that's Carl Vinson. Sabi niya sa akin, we're leaving, I want you to give you a carrier. Pin ang binigyan niya sa akin, ayan yung picture ng, ng San Francisco. Maalis sa San Francisco. Take a look at it. And now, take a look. Ano nakita mo sa likod? Bundok. Tignan mo! Ilintik na eh. Look at it, look at it. The bundok there. Can you see it? Art? Minos? Can you see it? Banay building, di ba? Okay. Sabi ko, get me a picture as you leave Subic of the mountains and Subic. Alright? So, binigyan ako. And you know what I did? I will go around town. I will show them the picture. Yes, sa kaliwa. This is the picture of Subic today. And then one of my people say, this is the picture is a canon of Subic tomorrow. Sabi nila, o oh, di ba, para yung bundok, tigyan nyo, ayun o, oh, yung bundok, o. Oh. Para mo kinawa yan, sabi nyo, wala pang PowerPoint doon, eh. Naniwa na sila. O, oh, ayan, lahat may trabaho. Lahat nagagawa. Ang lugi ngayon ng Olongo po. Kargahan kami ng tao. Tama yung sinasabi na ito, eh. Doon lang ba kami titira sa Latinidad? Excuse me. Dapat kasama sila sa Freeport. Dapat urban redevelopment na yan. We have to develop new areas there. Ganoon nila Subic, ganoon rin ang San Marcelino, ganoon rin ang lahat na ibang bayan. Eh, ang Pilipino pinaka is slow to get it. Eh. They cannot get it until they show it. So I'm willing to do one more time. Hindi lang kayo, babalik ako sa loob. Kapag gagawin namin lahat ng mga dapat ilalabas namin yung Subic, Ganyan rin sa inyo. So just take a look. That's how hard it is. Do not close your mind. I will bring this and I will show it to the public. Mark, makita niya yan. Because pag hindi nila nakikita, vision is a mental picture of an event that is better than what is today. Mas maganda. Pero hindi makikita ng tao yan. Lalo na ako si Venus, at saka si Edna, at saka si Glory Makapagalan na tumingin dyan. Hindi lang makikita. Ha? Ah. Yan ang tutukuntong sa mataas ako. <laughs> Biro lang, I'll be nice. Mahal lang makita. Anyway, that is what happened. Alright? And look at what happened. We had APEC. Go ahead, go ahead. Bilis na po nga lang, please. What's next there, Jane? Wala na? Oo. Oh. Ayan. You know, this is a very important picture. That, that the base has been turned over. Wala pa plano yung Pilipinas. But I had a plan in 2000, dumating yung mga tiga World Bank, ayaw nila palabasin sa Subic. This is a true story. Ayaw nila palabasin sa Subic. Dahil galit sa akin yung nagaharing uri sa Malacanang. O, sabi nila, I hear Mayor Gordon has a plan, we want to go there. No, no, he cannot go, sabi ni General Tajar. God bless his soul. Dahil pilit mo labas yan. Pag labas yan, umakit sa kung hindi ko alam, We're from the World Bank. We want to listen to your vision. Vision is what they talked about. How are you going to do this? Where are you going to put this? You know when they left? My staff, mabilis eh. Wala naman yan eh. Ginawa lang yan. Kita nyo, ang bilis World Bank appraisal mission. Pati maglabas eh. Uy, ba't kami may welcome? Hindi naman lang. My staff does it work fast. We want to welcome you. And you know what? Sabi sa akin, you go to Washington. We are going to give you an initial grant of $350,000 to put up for the Taiwan zone because I had already gotten Taiwan to come and there was no area 
where they can go. That's why I made rich. Kailangan may nakadrawing. Kailangan ito ang role. Ayan na, ayan na, ayan na, ayan na. Ayan na. O, ayan na. O, babalik na yung wish lang ulit. You have to have all these areas with lots na may lote para pag pumunta ang tao, saan ako pupunta dyan? Hanggang ngayon, sinasabi ko pa yan dito sa Senado. Kung wala kang ibebenta yung ambassador mo at Department of Trade at Department of Tourism, hindi makakapunta dito dahil ang tagal mag-start. So pag ginawa niyo yung tuba, ginawa niyo yung Latinidad, at may plano na kayo, may mga lote-lote na yun na pupuntahan, ha? papasok ang investor dyan, Filipino, local to the Latinidad, native, tuba, baka kapag invest sila, mabilis makakapagtakbo. End of story. So, Mark, you learn from that. Because you cannot just make this big luck. You cannot. I would like, I will try, no? I promise you this. If you do this, if we have consultation, all I'm going to ask the people is, gagawa tayo ng bill, and the initial bill will have master plan within the next six months, tapusin yan. Lahat kayo. And then once it is done, then there must be appropriation to that effect. And this is the governing body that will do it. Will it be go Benguet governor? No, it will be Metro Baguio that will have all the mayors sitting down. But, the people that will be running, zoning, that will be running the plans, that will be running engineering, they have to come out with internal rules and regulations that the public knows so that everybody has a book. Why is he building 40 stories when he's only allowed 10 stories? Why is he, why are they doing this without drainage? Dapat meron ganun. Ano ba sa Ilocano yun? Naintindihan niyo ako? Naawatan niyo ako? O, oh, sige. O. Oh. Oh. So, Mr. Chair, I... Ano dyan eh, Adinoti Papanam. No, 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 I don't think that I'm just saying it's hard. But the hard way is always the best way. Uh, yes. Mr. Chair, I am number one, I am uh, inspired by your passion and uh, the support that you have expressed to the people of Baguio and the entire Bliss, as well as the Cordillera. Second, uh, I have no objection that we will have another consultation uh, in uh, our region, in the Cordillera, particularly in Bliss, to really hear the people about this. Subject to the consideration that NEDA sit down with our committee here right away, right now, and plan it. DPWA should plan it. Kumero, whatever plans you have, sir, kung may plano na kayo, bigay nyo kaagad. And then, kahit ang pano lang, kunyari ganyan, no? dito sa Tuba, yung Acer. Dito sa Tubig Taiwanese Industrial Park. Ito, Japanese Techno Park. Ito, ganun. Dito sa mga bayan na yan. Para makikita natin, hindi nyo naman susunod kaagad. Basta lang makita lang nila, this is the role of Tuba. This is the role of Kwan. But they have to uh, sign up on that. The people have to sign up on that. Di ba po, Tata Joseph? Okay. Oh. Number three, uh, notwithstanding the fact that we agree that we need to have this other consultation, but let it be stated very clearly here, the, uh, Mr. Chair, that uh, we have done the consultation. It's only unfortunate that uh, some of those who are here today were not there during these consultations. Mark, Mark, when you go there, there will be people opposing you and me. Of course. And all uh, these people. Yes. That's why I'm willing to go two days, straight up. Oh, you're in the holidays, huh? You just tell me, and you tell me, and we'll go there, and we'll have the consultation in a, in a controlled manner, with a gavel. And I will bring the sergeant that arms here. Sir, sir. Magulo yan eh, magulo yan eh. Pagka ako niya, magulo yan. Ako, lahat siya. Nagdididi pa dyan mamaya. Lahat siya, pala ka siya ng boses. Mayroon bang demo-demo? Wala. Basta, pagdating niyo doon, anong idea mo? Kung wala kang idea, umuwi ka na. Kung alam mo lang, I do not know. I know what I do not want. Ayoko yun. What I know is, what he want. And na, buti pa yung daddy mo ang boyfriend. He knows what he wants. May bagong love team, ano? Oh, Joseph, ano? Sa kabila, Joseph. I have to go. Sir, quickly lang. Just been speaking to other people who had 
experiences from a history of the, the bliss. One of the uh, thing is that um, there is one always one person controlling the, the meetings. So, ang ano lang sir, sana, sana it doesn't chair. happen. This is a consultation, a public hearing. Mark will also co-chair. Sir, join natin, join natin para masaya. Yeah, sir, at saka yung... Lahat ng mayor na ando, lahat ng mga Rotary, Yeezys. Actually, Mr. Chair, your committee has invited uh, all these uh, municipal mayors and other stakeholders in the city of Baguio. Sir, tapos sa local na pala, no? Ako yes. na lang, para mabilis. Yes. Uh, uh, ito, dapat, lahat, lahat imitay nyo na, mga PhD, lahat ng MD, lahat ng mga MA, pati DUD. Dad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, tourism, dapat under, uh, you have to share the. Pro I suggest you meet with them already. Kung ano mga plano yun na. Para may idea sila lahat. And then also, Mila, kayo ba magbilang room? Ha? Oh. Oh. Okay, kayo, kayo ha? Idea na, ha? Sabi nyo, ito, pwede, ito, hindi pwede. Bawal yan, nakatayo dyan. Yan, yan, yan. Can you imagine kung halimbawa mag-earthquake dyan at marami na matay? Headline tayo sa buong mundo. Sino pupunta pa sa Baguio? Sabi, ang taka naman ito mga Pilipino, pinapatira nila sa bundok. Tapos ang x-ray, nag-earthquake, nagsisisihan sila. Tarupam. Ano may tarupam siya? Para ako ibutan ko na. Mukha mo, tama, mukha mo. Oh. Bawal ang nung-nung, apo. Alam ba wala sa dot? Okay, oh, okay. So do your homework. Make sure you have it, and get every plan that you have. And then let's. Tama siya. You cannot do this without consultation. Tapos our first part ni tong law natin, may appropriation for all this master planning, for the law, and then after six months or we we go in and say, "Eto ang structure." Is that okay with you? I, I have no problem. Because you cannot create a, a, a structure right there, legal structure right away, without the consultation. And we will try to make suggestions, try to make suggestions on the structure. Ako nakikita ko, the governor is there, the mayors are there, but sila lang ay to represent the, the people. No? But they can be overruled by the technical committee. Never again will we make the same mistake. Yes, uh, Mr. Chair. Diba? Kasi ang mayor, siyempre, gusto ko manalo eh. Papapogi muna ako dito. Eh, Naintindihan ko yan. Pero dapat, meron talagang hawak nung the keys na talagang hindi pwede huyan eh. Talagang hindi pwede. Babalik tayo sa dati. Yeah. Yes, sir. Architect pala kayo, no? Kala ko, archbishop kayo eh. <laughs> later, later, magiging bishop na. Uh, sir. Nakalaya yung arch uh, eh. <laughs> we would like uh, the uh, educational institutions to be part of this Never process been. because they have graduate uh, students. St. Louis University of Baguio, ano ba? St. Louis University has oh, a ma, master's degree eh? in, in ur urban UP, and UP. regional planning. UP. UP, they don't have any master's degree in urban or regional Is planning. Is it from UP Diliman? Yeah. Which one? Oh, make sure you get new pindi naman. Talk to President uh, Danny Concepcion. Kailan nyo ilalagay? Ano sabihin nyo na kung nung araw? Ha? Mr. Chair, we have Kailan invited... Kailan na pala? Baka batapat tayo doon. Ha? February. Mr. Uh, Chair, yeah, yeah. if we want to do it uh, before our uh, start of our uh, resumption of office, Definitely. Uh, probably we can do it uh, in January, first week of January, prior to our yes. resumption. I'm willing. January 2, January 3, January 4. Okay. I think uh, we'll uh, arrange it with your staff. So we can have a, a series of... Uh, two, three days? Fine. Oh, Venus, huh? Bahala ko doon. Sabi mo kay Attorney Eko Willie, makikitira ako sa kanya. We are supposed to do this in Baguio, as a matter of fact, uh, Mr. Oh, Chair. But uh, because of... Uh, eh, pwede naman na udo, no? Yung mga latinidad, pupunta na rin, no? May dalang strawberries, no? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dapat malaki na strawberry natin. Ah, okay? All right? And then, it's at... You know, for Ruben... By the way, I like your slides, ah. Huh? They're better than mine. You know, 
Pareho, ipiso ulong ka po, pareho pareho kayo. Ganyan, ulong ka po. Wala nang paglalagyan. We, we, we don't have any space. That's why, because our main territory was in Subic, ay napasama sa basers. Hindi kami makapasok na maglalagyan. Ay, labas natin. Ah, labas natin. Ganun rin yan. Yes, Joseph Alabanza, the former love affair of uh, number one. Opponent uh, in the uh, interaction that will go on is the private sector. Because sometimes we make decisions on urban planning without even discussing it with the private sector. Of course. Citizen participation in decision making. Ang slogan po ni Senator Gordon ng araw pa, pag nagsama ang leader at ang tao, lalabas ang galing ng Pilipino. Yes. Ano sa Ilocano yun, Lakay? Pag nagsama ang leader at ang tao, lalabas ang galing ng Pilipino. Make people part of the process of change. Yes, yes, yes. Sometimes I don't sound like that because ang mamadali rin ako eh. <laughs> no, but kailangan eh. You must make haste slowly. So you can come, sir, if we arrange things like this, you can uh, be available to discuss things also with this. Sir, I will give you two days at least. And I will plan for a third day kung kailangan. Mm, okay. Okay? But the Senate will be there. And uh, will do that. Yes, uh, uh gusto ko lang ako in, be, in behalf of the municipal of uh, mayors of of the different municipality of Binget. Muling magpasalamat po kami, sir, dahil uh, una sa lahat, uh, kanya-kanyang uh, uh, master plan yan. Uh, we will have to present our own uh, master plan by municipality. Baka magbago ko yan eh, pagka malaki uh, dito. Ibigay, Tayo magpasabi, kami dito, ganito kami. Uh, dito. Uh, kasi ang number one, dito. ang nakalagay kasi dyan, caves and uh, hot spring ang nakalagay sa amin. Caves in Hot Spring yung may pasintahan. Pero sa ang number one kasi sa tuba, agriculture, um, mining, at saka yung tourism. Pwede. Oo. Oh, kasi mayroon kaming tourism na uh, cave na half kilometer, may falls sa loob. Uh, okay. oh, alam nyo, lahat ng kaibigan ko sila sabi, may falls kami, dapat may tourism kami. And, and yun po gano'n yan, ang tourism eh. Sir, uh, ay, ano, pati yung mga saran mina, Pwede yung tourism yun. Yes, sir. Camping. Maglagay lang kayo ng konting kabayo doon. Ako, okay na yun. Makakayikot-ikot tayo doon. May camping ground kayo. Ayan ba yung tuba? O, ayan o. Bakit umakita sa tuba? Sa minakan yun, sir. Sa Felix Mine. Doon. Yung, ah. Pero, Kenan Road, Marco Saiwe, Asim Road, at saka Nagilian, that is part of tuba, sir. Ah, sir. Kung pwede lang, tingin nyo, ilan ang flat land, ilan ang developable area, ilan, ano ang hindi pwedeng ma-develop dyan? Kasi yung hindi pwedeng ma-develop, pwede rin yung mountain climbing na lang yun. <laughs> Pwede well, gusto yun. Pero um, meron na kaming... Saka ano dapat ang planting? Oh. Ano ang reforestation nyo dyan? Dapat. Ang, ang, sa ang, sa ang glory ng Baguio. Totoo lang. Eh, ako, ako lang ako ganun. No? Walang punong ganun dito eh. Eh doon, araw-araw Christmas eh. Ang gaganda ng pine tree. Tsaka hindi ba sa pine tree nung araw dyan? Uh, ha? Sa amin yun, sir, yung Mount Santo Tomas. Oo, oh, yun. Oh. Sa di ba dyan yung Dominican Hill? Oo. Oh. Oh, di ba? Bagyo, bagyo. Hmm. Sa akin oh. ng Mount Tomas, sir. Di ba Santo Tomas sa inyo? Oh, di ba? Di, ah, kaya pala sinabi ko Santo Tomas, dahil Dominican. <laughs> eh, tutulog na kayo. Hindi nyo na ako nakukuha yung joke ko eh. Ah, sige, ayan, ayan, Mount Santo Tomas. Oh. Yeah. Ano yan? Pine tree pa yan? Pine tree, sir. Mm. Ano ba klaseng pine yung tumutubo dyan? Banket pine. Pine tree, sir. Ano, parang Christmas tree sa Amerika? Ano ba yan? Tsaka yung amoy, tsaka yung mist. Nasiraan kami dyan noong araw. Tinutulok namin yung bus, lumalabas yung kusok sa bibig namin. Tuntua kami. Parang kami nasa America. Ah. <laughs> Okay po, ano ba? Basta sir, ganun. Okay yun. You just show me what your plans are. And then we can go on. And plans are adjustable, ha? Ang masama, once you say zoning, yun na yun. You'll have to go back to the people if you want to rezone. 
mahina yung mga mayor. Dapat bago kayo mag-resolve, bago kayo pabayag, konsultahin nyo muna ang tao nyo. Pag hindi nyo kinasulta yan, eh, tulad yung sinasabi ni Joseph, kung lahat ng LGU, lahat ng may pakasalanan dyan, eh, babibigay mo ulit sa LGU, di ganun. You have to start them on that trend of mind na kailangan may planning. Okay? Sir, Asi, sir oh. just last one thing, sir. Tama na. Saan ka ba nag-aaral? <laughs> Siguro, tiga, <laughs> tiga lasal ka ba? Ano, nabibigay ko yung mga tigalasal. Sir, isang lang sa dun sa house bill kasi, they focus on the majority of the population. Given that Baguio has the majority of the population, does that mean that Baguio will always be given the preference? Sir, we need to clarify lang kung pwede sana, sir. No, 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 no. Development is development. You cannot force development unless we're a communist country like Pudong was lifted by the Chinese and hindi pa sa kabila. Or Zhenzhen. Kaya mabilis ang China. Pag sinabi ng Chinese authorities, sorry ka na lang. Pero as much as possible, mas maganda, naniniwala na sila sa plano. Kaya kailangan maganda yung plano nyo, Mila. Ha? Pag hindi maganda yung plano nyo, walang maniniwala sa inyo. No, I, I mean it. You better be serious about it. Otherwise, next year, wala kayong budget, ha? Hindi pa tapos yung budget nyo ngayon. Oh, yeah. sir, uh, sir, as early as 2015, we actually studied uh, the groups, the managed plans of the six, uh, of the six LGUs po. Inarag na po namin yung mga group. And we have identified areas where there may be conflicts among uh, the LGUs. We already determined the complementation areas, the roles, etc. But uh, given the comment of uh, Mayor Rivera, I think we will be reviewing this again, sir. Uh, Rufina Patish, right ka? You better talk to DILG, ha? Kung nakakagayat, eh, daan nyo ngayon. Mukha ka ng legal assistance doon. <coughs> Because pagka pinakailangan mo yung lo local government, may local autonomy yan, ha? ha? You just cannot change change their kwan. Kailangan local autonomy has got to be respected. Alright? Kaya kailangan yan. You have to get, get the lawyers of DILG to come over. Okay. Sir, oh, meron pa pala, nandito yeah. yung D DNR, kasi sa kupang kami ng PAMD. Uh, at uh, ito ang problema, dahil yung Marcos Highway, 5 uh, kilometers both side, uh, sa sakupan ng PAMD, lahat yung mga ginagawa namin na improvement, dadaan kami sa PAMD. But uh, how, how come that uh, yung PAMD, uh, Uh, protected area, sir. Bakit kami lang ang laganyan, yung Baguio, yung Pugo, Tubao, ay hindi. Kaya ito, parang complication sa local government code. Kasi marami ng title doon. I'll, I'll be frank. No? So I will be uh, uh, coordinating with the DNR, sir. Kasi ito, uh, maraming project dito na titled uh, property. Question na po, alam ninyo, one, one very, very big mistake, and correct me if I'm wrong, NEDA and uh, DPWH, kayo rin ang may kasalanan yan eh. Magastos ang mga kasada natin because of your right of way. Hindi dapat nagtatayo ang Pilipino sa tabi ng mga major highways at major kasada. Dapat may setback yan. Magpatayo ka kayo, babayad ka. Sino nagbabayad? Tayo lahat. Taxpayers money yan. Bibili niya ang lupa. Lulukuhin pa tayo. Katulad doon isang iniibistig ako. Milyon-milyon. Daang milyon ang niloko sa atin. Alam niya sa DPWH. So dapat, ang setback niyo, I will, I will also make a... Ganyan yung legislation dyan. Sa so DPWH implement that nobody can put up facilities. And once there's a facility na tinayo dyan, dapat automatic ombuds pa niya. Hindi pwedeng ganun. Kahit na siga yung mayor. Kasi pagka nagtayo, lugi ang Pilipino, babayad pa tayo ng tax. Pero tignan ninyo yan. Well, if you can set back talaga para pag naglapad ng kaje, meron tayong lugar. Okay? Oo. Uh -huh. Eh, time to think. Alam niyo, ang gusto ko sa Cordillera talaga. They are very honorable people. Yan ang naiintindihan ko sa kanila. 
wala halos nagkukuha dyan ha, the dynasty. Ngayon nila, na, na, malakas ang kanilang sense of uh, propriety. And that's why I really respect them. No? Pero minsan talaga, nakangailangan rin. Hindi naman sila tinisisi ko yung mga dynasty. May mga Kennedys naman dyan, may mga Bush. Basta magaling lang, dapat okay. Pero, tingnan nyo lang maigi. Okay? So, again, I reiterate. We will go to Baguio first week. Earlier than later. Because magagawa pa tayo para pagpasok sa pagpasok sa January 14, when we go back, the bill is ready for sponsorship, uh, for uh, second reading. But ang importante nito is like Boracay, we have a master plan na i-legislate na dapat meron, including appropriations, including, kung magagawa natin infrastructure, kung papayag lahat, Isipin nyo rin, ha? Yung infrastructure, yung uh, legal infrastructure. In any in any endeavor, you have to have the physical infrastructure, the legal infrastructure, and the moral infrastructure. Kala, yung lupa, yung uh, legal, and then the moral infrastructure is the honesty and integrity of the people involved. So, you have to have that. Uh, So, I hope uh, you can help everyone here. Uh, try to invite yung mga responsible elements in the community. The first question that you'd love to ask your Mark is, what do you do with our property? Well, we'll cross that bridge together, but we have to say, nobody's going to be deprived of property without, unjust comp without just compensation anyway. But that is the principal right of the state. So you can have stability and order. And sometimes you really have to make it happen that way. Okay? I still have two major appointments this afternoon. I hope you have not sapped me of the energy that will be required of, of, of the next two appointments because it's, it's important. So thank you all very much. Make sure that uh, Neda, I nasa record that you said, uh, the ILG, uh, in law legal, and uh, public works. And the mayors, please. Mark, ikaw na ba na magsabi sa mga mayors? And to listen, make sure you have your plans. Uh, invite Peza. Peza and Tiesa. Peza and Tiesa. And Department of Trade. DTI, DTI. And then UP. Especially, is, I don't want any private plan. I want UP to plan it. May UP doon eh. Uh, they can have a bigger campus in wherever, even the university center. All right? Maybe NHA also. NHA. And land housing and urban development. Uh, uh, it's a URB. Uh, uh. Okay? But make sure they're briefed, ha? Ayaw ka pupunta doon, tapos dala-dala lang nila, ipuit nila. Kailangan dala-dala lang yung utak at saka yung batas. Transportation? The OTR. But be specific. Be specific kung sila ibitahin na. And some other people that we need to get. No? Sir, mayroon ka ba sa Jason Mark? Yeah, I think what University is. Yeah, St. Louis will be there, everything. You may want to get invite the La Union Airport Authority. We can so, invite, yeah. Uh, yeah. Water point, water point, water point. And John Hay. John Hay. And do and do that. Can I go into? We can do it. Uh, John Hay or uh, John Hay. We can do it at one of the. We can have Bineco. They have a big hole there that we can. Pero dapat conducive to discussion. Yes. Low one. Magandang sound system. Yes. Pinakamalakas yung sa atin. Dahil pag kamis malakas sa kanila, wala wala tayo. Siguro ato malay may init ang ulo yan. You know, you have, have to control the... Because if there are a lot of And then we we'll have to plan how they can speak. Uh, set the guidelines. And then we will have to draw... Yes, sir. Archbishop. Very critical satin is citizen participation in decision-making. Because it's very important the presence of our private sector. I said that, Rotary, barangays, 
Ah, en Balmers, ¿ah? Luego la veo. Farmers, farmers. Farmers, strawberry farmers. What you want, mother? You want mother in a good shepherd? <laughs> peanut, peanut butter, man. <laughs> uh, uh, peanut brittle. Peanut brittle. Ubi. Sino pa, sir? Sino ko siyo? Educational institution. Ano bang penal institution doon? Ibitay natin? You have. Hindi. There are so many people just walking in session road. Why don't you just pick up some of them? Oh. They may have their own ideas of how to, you know, make se say oh, session road a better, better may, place. May organized group. Hindi naman yung mas session road. We, we get people so that they, it is really part of uh, decision making. Meron ba kayong Vendors Association? Sir? Meron ba kayong Balut Vendors Association? Meron yeah. kayong Peanut Vendors Association? Huh? I used to bring them in. I had all the associations, the sidewalk yeah. vendors, the market yeah. vendors, and the large yeah. So, Mark, what are you So, we landed, uh, Mr. Chair, and uh, by February, uh, January 14, we are ready to present the final version of the bill. Before you meeting, I have to tell you, it's not possible to meet with them, it's not meeting. You need to meet with them so they can know them. Hindi pwedeng doon lang siya mag-iisip. Dapat nag-iisip na sila doon pala. Yeah, sila yeah. Maureen Dumogan. Ano pa nga lang dati yung kasama ni Maureen? Dati yung mayor? Bergara. Si Bergara. O yan, di ako dyan. Tourism dati yan eh. Yes, PTA. Uh, uh, Mr. Saka Chair. yung... Buhay pa ba yung kuhan? Yung uh, nanay ni... Yung institution sa Baguio? Wala na po. Namatay na po. Si... Oo. Oh, oh. uh, sino sino? Mrs. De Gea at saka si... Uh, yung sa Midland Courier. Ha? Huh? Cecil Lafable. Lafable. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Namatay na po siya. Namatay na po Magagaling yung mga tao yun. They're very good people. Yeah. Anak niya si Juan, di ba? Dati sa Malacanang. Uh, it's the, the son. The oh, son the son. Is, oh. uh, yeah. Imitate niya. Okay. Ben, oh. uh, uh, Tony Bembol, uh, Pable. Yeah. Oh, yung... Yes, ma'am. Pili talaga tumayo talaga. We will... Magsusunod na sila doon. Up with the consultation, so that we'll have one voice, then we can we, to attend. Sina? Don sa Latin dad po. Before before the consultation to become. Ah, kayo mo na magkukusot na kayo. Yes. Tapos kung magaling yung mayor mo, dapat nagkukusot siya. That's why we're helping you. Tama yun. That's a good point. So that we have one. Pero open your mind, ha? I don't want close minds. Because we, this is an idea that ma that whose time has come. Hindi na pwede tayong upset dito sa planning na ito. You should credit your congressman because he's brave enough to do this. You're lucky you have a good congressman. Wala mang lalaki ulit mo, Mark, ha? Baka sabihin ni Bongo, lalabanan mo na siya. Beso. Thank you. Ha? Ha? Nanalo tayo naman? Yung ba yung gumaganda yun? Ayun ko ah. Ano yung sa inyo? Dinala ko yung Miss Earth dito, tapos kayo may naglulo ko na. Ano ba naman yan? Made in the Philippines yung Miss Earth eh. Tapos sa sideline, tinatawagan ko sa telepono. Sira ulo yung ibang mga kababayan natin talaga. Just be careful with that. Another one from the Archbishop. All these things that uh, you were asking us to, uh, whoever we are trying to get involved in, you will be the head of Me? every. Yeah, yeah. This is chairman. Chairman, oh, okay. Chairman. Alter ego, ba, si Bart? Kakain yung mga tao doon. We'll, we'll put up a budget, whether we we'll like it or not. Pero kung ang budget namin, pwede lang uh, dinugon at puto. Sorry na lang, ha? Oh. <laughs> Manang Edna will bring uh, strawberry from uh, <laughs> that. Yeah. No, 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 we'll, we'll, we'll take care of that. I'm just kidding. Just kidding, okay, Mr. Adesanya? <laughs> okay, so just tell me where and when. Yeah, we will uh, 
make the necessary uh, arrangement. Will you make sure that the appointment is there? Ako, gusto gusto na may tungkol. I think we can use the. Bank. Alam mo na ano asawa ito, tola pa asawa ito. Eh. Ano ba? No. Malapit na siya magretire. Malapit eh. pare yan, o sige. <laughs> Just kidding. Anyway, po, yes, sir. Ano address na? Ibig sabihin mami ako. <laughs> Hindi ba na po na kagad siya? Sige. Thank you very much. Thank you. God bless you. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas. And Happy New Year. Session is suspended until that time. Gibita kayo ng ibang kanilo ka. Naglamin. Okay. Can I have the citizenship? Justice? Justice Biggs. Mangan tayo pa eh. Hindi ba kayo kakain? Ha? Mga tayo. Uh, 